What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Lazy Sunday live stream here on Out of the Basement. I'm Nate, joined with Justin. Sup, guys. And joining us once again, a very special guest. We got Matt Bryant with us today. Sup, guys. <laughs> How's everyone? Hey, thank you for Thanks coming for on. on. <clears throat> yeah, we're super of happy course. to have you on, yeah. as always. Uh, we do have some Black Series news to talk about today. In-hand pictures of Anakin and Padme. They're yeah. coming right around the corner. <laughs> We're also going to talk Bad Batch Season 3 as well, because the first three episodes aired this week so true we're gonna we're gonna get back on the old talking about star wars media and justin actually watched it can you believe it i did i watched it yesterday so just in the nick of time mm. i was getting a little worried because i didn't hear anything from you throughout the week <laughs> yeah. and i was like oh no he's gonna do it again yeah because <laughs> i've been we've been watching another show right oh. now what are you watching uh, uh, the Haunting of Bly Manor. I'm finishing oh, out the oh, yeah, Mike okay. Flanagan series because I think I've now seen every single Mike Flanagan project except for Bly Manor. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, I never watched Bly Manor. Yeah, it's good. But I did watch Bad Batch, so I don't want to see any of these live chat comments <laughs> because all that I remember. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I have some trauma from when I didn't watch Andor and I didn't watch whatever the previous thing was you didn't watch obi-wan you didn't watch bad batch season two you didn't watch andor yeah and he, what he means is i didn't watch them right away so chat would yell at me mm -hmm. but yeah we'll save that for the end dante's yeah. toys we'll save that for the end for mm -hmm. sure definitely uh, please no bad batch season three spoilers yeah no worries mm. there'll there'll be a we'll hold little... off we'll hold off yeah, I got a little here. Where's it at? This is for later in the stream. Mm. Oh. Got the background here. So that'll be for later. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, let's start things off like how we always do and say what's up to the 158 people who have joined us so far. Don't forget to leave a like. In subscribe less than five minutes. If you're new. It's that beautiful, beautiful Matt Bryant bringing in all the what? views. <laughs> Uh, happy to be here guys happy to be here oh yeah just, just look at those shelves look at the lighting the lighting that closet the guitar the carhartt shirt <laughs> oh yeah that's a comfortable, comfortable fit comfortable right there i've ever worn <laughs> exactly exactly these these are great i'm i'm a fan so comfy. I'm... they have the like ventilated sides where is it on if you can see yeah Ooh, it's so comfy he's not sweating <laughs> no, no, not sweating on this stream, but we got Zoo Boy in here, hey, who's Zoo just Boy. stopping in to say hey. They are visiting a friend in New York, so they'll catch the replay. Doing an entire Lord of the Rings extended edition watch, twelve hours long. Good luck. Sounds like a great time. It does. <laughs> it definitely <clears throat> does. How's it going, Sandy Cheeks? What are your guys' thoughts on the in-hand shots of the Rex helmet? Looks awesome. To me, it does. The, I think the visor's a little thick. It's the visor. It, the visor and the point where it comes down is just a little off. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like it's it's like ever so slightly enough to where I I don't know if I I I think I was initially planning on grabbing this, but I think I might hold off. Yeah, it's like one of the classic cases of practicality or displayability and they, i feel like they went with practicality mm -hmm. whereas yeah i don't know a helmet that's like 130 dollars. that's a display piece to me it's not a toy so like mm -hmm. just make it accurate who cares if you can't actually see out of it mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> got straight out of gunga here as well along yeah. with 80s kid from the What's 90s glavis ring world mando is my favorite black series figure Sup Rebo Battalion. It's amazing. Oh yeah. Calavis Ring World. It's hard to beat. Everyone believe loves it. <laughs> believe the hype. I believe <laughs> it. What's up, Nixel Plix? How's it going? We also got uh, Dan Darth Educator in here. Good morning from the West Coast. Happy Lazy Sunday Basement crew. Hello, hello. 49er Brian needs a custom nine nub. Hasbro <laughs> sucks. <laughs> One of these days. One day. 49er Brian. We'll get him. It'll happen. 
What's up, Arthur? How's it going? Hey, Arthur. Hey. The stream. We've got not Obi Wan here who says hello there. What about that Battlefront Classic Collection reveal? Best news this week easily. So hyped to play that game after so many years. Yeah, that's actually some pretty cool news. Uh, hmm. Battlefront One and Two getting classic remasters with functional online multiplayer on yeah. consoles. Well, they're not remasters. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah, <clears throat> I do know what you mean. It's so an I... eight, it's an HD port. Yeah. Which, uh, it's kind of funny, I had my first, like, PC Master Race moment, mm -hmm. because everyone was, like, freaking out about that in the Discord, and I was like, Nate and I have been streaming this every year for the past three years. We've been playing upscaled, like, 4K, 60 frames per second, Battlefront 1 and 2 on PC. Mm -hmm. We've been doing it on Steam, baby. That is PC true. PC Master Race <laughs> but... is... Even with the PC, you know, being able to play the PC version and whatever, uh, something about it coming to consoles has just got me so no, hyped. Right. It yeah. still is, is and there's definitely cool. New map, new mode, something like that? Well, there it's the Xbox DLC. They're going to oh, make it okay. available everywhere, which when it's... we stream Battlefront 1, we do have the Xbox oh, okay. DLC okay. on Steam. But uh, there I might see. be some different things on Battlefront 2. And we didn't really get to stream Battlefront 2, so maybe that means we can finally actually stream Battlefront 2. Because on PC, for whatever reason, it doesn't like the software that we use to stream. So, Right, right. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking, too. I was definitely thinking that. But exciting news. Exciting news for, Today's for the gamers. What's up, Wayne? How's it going? So got Kobe in here. Out of 10, what mm -hmm. would you rate the first Bad Batch episodes? We'll save that for later, Kobe. We'll save that. We'll yeah. put a pin in Positive. that one. <laughs> Positive reaction, though. But it was good. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It was great. What's up, Ezra? Also no, got... Uh, Shonda. What? <laughs> Shonda <Shang -Chi>. we, <laughs> we got Blaine in here. Blaine Smith. I won't have to work and can watch the live stream. Well, how Ooh. about just avoid responsibility and watch the live stream? Do it. Just put your phone in your pocket. Put a <laughs> headphone in. Yeah. What's up, Commander Cook? Commander Cook's hey. here. Got Mr. Coffee in here as well. Mm -hmm. B Tech Bradford. Hello. <clears throat> Wilbon, hey, nice Wilbon. to see you. Also have Michael G in here. Elemental Crafting. Hey. Soup Dragon. Brennan Sanchez. Peak Obi Wan. It's a peak. Tom Bowling is here as well, who needs an Old Republic figure to pose with Darth Malgus. Until then, would Zalbar work? Wookiees have long lifespans. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think the lifespan is that long. Yeah, I, I don't remember. What's up, Eli the Jedi? Also, I have Lazy <clears throat> Jawa in here. Han shot first. Risk Llama. <laughs> Prophet924. Mark. Mark. Benny. Benny. Sir Pounce. Hey. Hello. What's up, Odin01? Also have Ivan in here. Been a great week for me. It's good to hear, Ivan. Always good to hear. Joey, Achilles, Mark Hauser. Hey, Mark. What's up, Mark? Tangy Fungus. <laughs> What's up, Apo? We got Thomas M. James Wade. Justin's mom. Hey, <laughs> my mom. Hello. Jonathan Anderson finally got Glavis Ringworld. And we'll say what's up to Corellian Collectibles here. And we'll call it there. So what's up, Corellian? They say, can we please get the definition of a peg warmer? Because apparently to some collectors, one shin out of the eight <laughs> figures left on the pegs means the Black Series is peg warming and not selling. That's honestly an interesting question because there's a line to draw between properly stocked and peg warming. Right. And I, I kind of agree. I feel like some people jump to, oh, this is peg warming just because they see like a full shelf or like a full peg of figures. Mm -hmm. But to me, I would define it as like, it takes a long time to move. Like if it takes months and months for it to move, that would be a peg warmer. Yeah. yeah they like could have just put those out. Right. Uh, a figure. You know, being a new figure. Yeah, a figure sitting for a couple days, couple weeks. That's that's not peg warming, but um, 
I think a lot of it just plays into the you know general knee jerk reaction of people just wanting to say peg warmer. Well, and I personally know Corellian why he's saying this. It's because of uh, BHC, who notoriously, you know, anti black series TVC person, hmm. but always ignores that like Ross Ollie's they also have TVC figures. And, mm. you know, Target, I've seen the deluxe Sabine, Black or Santon, right. and then the Luke, the Subway Luke. They're peg warmers. I would actually genuinely consider those peg warmers because there's like 30 of them each at mm-hmm. every Target I go to. <laughs> What's up, Luke? Let's be yep. Luke's here. Yeah, I... Uh... I'm really hoping that set goes on clearance. I want that Tuscan Warrior. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, the, that's the one I was missing. The yeah. one that and that comes with a massive. <sighs> with the yes. dog, yeah, the massive. Yeah. Yep, it's I'm cool looking set. to looking to grab that one on clearance. I can't it's wait. Pretty cool set. Too bad we didn't get one in six inch scale. Right, <laughs> massive right. and the warrior. But yeah, yeah that would have been great. Maybe one day. Sin? Our pleasure. Our hey. pleasure. We love a good controversial video. So. <laughs> Right. And we also simultaneously got the classic people who hate the sequel trilogy, but we got some new interesting comments of sequel trilogy fans hating on us for talking about the sequel trilogy, even though we don't like it personally. (laughs) Uh, That was a new one. That was not on my bingo card. That was totally unexpected. Like the people who just, who join, who like click on the video just to leave a Disney ruined Star Wars, I hate it. Blah, blah, right. blah. Like that's not the point of the video. That right. was totally expected, and that's like there was of way course. more of that. But then there, yeah, there were a few comments from fans of the ST who were mad that like we're advocating for ST, even though we don't like it. And it's like they're like real ST fans can advocate for our own figures, and like <laughs> yeah, they were saying we okay. are like arrogant because. I made it very clear that we didn't like the ST, but I did that on purpose just to like establish that context yeah. of we don't like these movies, but just because we don't like and them. And that's okay. Doesn't yeah. mean that fellow fans don't like shouldn't either. get their figures <laughs> right. that they want. Yeah. Yep. It, yeah. The, I mean, they, <laughs> like the entire point of the video is like us being like, this is for the greater good of the community. And I don't understand how people could could <laughs> could misconstrue that as like, oh, you guys are just talking down on sequel fans. <laughs> yeah. And Arthur, I do agree. That is a genuine mm. example of yep. a black series peg warmer for That's sure. Been hanging around Target for a while. And and not not only there. Target, uh a lot of Walmarts in our area too oh, yeah. stock stocked up mm. with the with the deluxe BK. Hmm. Which I think if you see it, if you're seeing it at two stores and it's and it's not moving, yeah, you can kind of start to be like a big warmer. Yeah, probably a big warmer. Yeah, my wall. Well, <clears throat> one of my local WalMarts is filled with the Luke and Grogu set. Right. Mm. Yeah. They've had quite a few of those just sitting there for weeks. I think like every deluxe set experiences that. Like every deluxe figure that isn't an yeah. exclusive pretty much sits Mm -hmm. which in a way i'm like that's kind of like the collecting community saying like no we're not a fan of making this deluxe or that deluxe Mm. because most of them go on deep sale like that dark trooper even though it's amazing it's like 16 bucks on oh yeah 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 yep yeah i mean good for everyone who wanted to army build dark troopers i guess (laughs) because we all got plenty uh i got four total (laughs) i just have Uh, two yeah, I yeah, I have four. Yeah, yeah, I have four on display. Will Droidica nice. go on clearance? That's interesting because this is know. the f- first prequel deluxe figure aside from Jar Jar. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Did y'all grab two? Oh yes, yeah. I'm really? going two two at full okay. price for sure. Yeah, I just grabbed one because I'm really curious as to just how big the thing is. It does look mm-hmm. big, mm-hmm. Uh, but they generally come in pairs. Right. You know, when you see them, there's always two. Yeah. At least and, two. So I'm going to start with one and just see how big it is and then probably grab a second one. Yep. Yeah. You know, I'd have to clear out somewhere up there on the top shelf. Um, yep. I, I was doing, 
I was doing some rearranging this morning too on the oh, yeah. shelf and I was clearing I was clearing my B1 droids. I was like, man, I got to make space for at least two super battle droids and at least two droidicas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. Come yeah, coming up here soon. Big. Yeah. So we'll it, see. It we'll does. See. But I do want a second one at some point. Yeah. 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 I do just want to say real quick, thank you to Big Bendu for being a channel member for 10 months. Appreciate Whoa. that so much. Very nice. And they say, what's cooking, Basement Boys? And Mr. Bryant, so happy Mr. to catch another Lazy Sunday. Can't wait to talk about Battlefront, the new arena, and Kit Fisto. <laughs> there you go. And Ventress. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Big Bendu. Thank you. Appreciate Paul. that. That's nice. Um, so, yeah. 224 people in here already. Thank wow. you so much, everyone. Don't forget to hit like. Subscribe if you're new. We've got a lot to discuss <clears throat> here on the channel yeah on today's stream um but very briefly i do just want to introduce our very special guest mr matt bryant <laughs> thank y'all so much for having me again yes so Always for pleasure. the lovely people out there who don't know you just want to let everyone know what you do on your channel yeah, and i'm uh, sure most everyone knows but for those who don't i'm mm -hmm. matt bryant i have a youtube channel it's just my name and i do mostly black series um uh, just reviews. <clears throat> I will occasionally do like a how-to video, maybe painting or, you know, modifying something, but it's mostly reviews. That, that's kind of what I stick to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't really live stream, you know, much anymore. I did for a while, kind of got out of it. I don't know why, just kind of <laughs> just kind of stopped doing it. Um, but yeah, pretty much reviews. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. We are big fans of, of Matt, and of course, oh. we've had you on the channel many times, so... Yeah. Nothing new there, but we're always, <laughs> always just happy to have you on. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. What's up, Del Radio? Radio? Yeah. Radio? From the UK. Uh, one thing I do want to talk about here, just to bring a comment back that I saw a little bit ago, and that's from Dante's Toys here, just to kind of talk about some recent mm. kind of things going on here, especially since we've already had a few Glavis Ring World uh mentions in the chat today and you recently posted your review matt yeah it went up so yesterday I, so i know that you just yep. got your hands on this figure yeah. but uh dante's toys says just saw the land speeder luke so video comparing the mafex mando 2.0 to the black series glavis ring world i can't believe a 25 dollars figure can go toe to toe with a 100 dollars import keep it up hasbro so i just kind of wanted to get your guys's thoughts have you watched luke's video comparing mm -hmm. Uh, the two yeah. Mando figures together. And just, you know, like, what are you thinking about the comparison between the two? Because I feel like this is going to be a huge debate and a huge topic of <laughs> discussion within uh, the Star Wars, like, six-inch collecting community. I mean, just on looks, I think the Black Series can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with it. I think it looks phenomenal. Now, of course, Mafex, you have, what was it, 20 sets of hands or something <laughs> yeah. like that? I mean, yeah, when I it mean, comes to... Yeah, the accessories it... are, are on another level when you come, or when it comes to imports. Mm -hmm. But at the $25 price point, it's hard to beat. Yeah. It's hard to beat. It It's uh, it's pretty crazy to me. I do think, mm -hmm. ultimately, the Mafex Mando does is a better-looking figure in general. Yeah, and, overall, and, yeah. Uh, and of course is loaded with accessories, but mm -hmm. at four times the cost, yeah. it's so crazy just how close they actually look together. What are you thinking, Justin? How do you feel? I basically, I feel like I always have a universal opinion when it comes to imports and I, you know, I don't have any experience with any Star Wars imports to me. It, it is obviously better. But it's obvious. I don't like it's not surprising that a figure that's two, three, four times more expensive is better. It should be better. Mm -hmm. And I agree with Matt. The fact that a 20 or the original commenter, the fact that a $25 figure is even in the same conversation as how much was the math? It's about 100 bucks. Yeah. It's 100. So, you maybe, yeah. You know, four Depending times. On as expensive, I'm like, the fact that it's even in the same conversation is an accomplishment in and of itself. But I, I would never <clears throat> say, oh, the Black Series is the better figure. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying, like, 
the fact that it's even in the same conversation is insane to me because yeah, the other yeah. one is so much more expensive. And I really, I, I can't fathom spending $100 on a single one twelfth figure. That's just like my personal, like, yeah. I just can't do them. <clears throat> so I really don't have the authority to, to say definitively, you know, mm -hmm. but it's cool. Yeah. No, yeah. it's a great, it's a great looking figure. I, it, I'm almost tempted, but at the same time, mm -hmm. I had a thought. I was like, "Are there too many accessories included?" <laughs> and that, and that might be something insane to say, but there are just so many options with that figure. It's like I feel like I would never even properly utilize everything that's included with him, and yeah. I, and I feel like that would be a little like. You know, like, why'd I even buy this then if I'm not going to utilize all the 20 different hands and the different flame effects and the pulse rifle and the blaster pistol and Grogu and Grogu in the strap in the mm -hmm. bag? It's like it almost you almost want to get like, you know, start throwing them on your other Mandos, which I guess you yeah. could do. But I know it, it it's crazy to say, but I did legitimately. <laughs> I did legitimately have that thought where I was just like, does this come with too much? But I mean, Mafex Mando That's looks great. Yeah. I mean, for I, display purposes, you'd almost just have to pick your favorite pair of hands or, you know, figure out what pose you want to have him in or whatever. Mm hmm. But and then just keep all yeah. those extra hands in the box in a safe place and maybe <laughs> switch them out every so often. Yeah. Like uh, just uh, cycle it out once a month mm -hmm. or something. It is very nice, though. I did uh, watch uh, Lance Peter Luke's video on that. It looks phenomenal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, honestly, <laughs> like, I'm sure import collectors would roll their eyes at this following <laughs> at this following comment. But oh no, on the outside looking in, and I don't really pay attention. I feel like every six months to a year in the Discord, I just see a whole bunch of people saying. This is the best Vader ever made. But it's like an endless loop of this is the best Mando ever made. Six months later, this is the best Mando ever made. And I'm like, there's just so many Bobas, so many Dins, and so many Vaders. And I, again, from the outside looking in, it just seems like that's all they do is like a new Boba, <laughs> a new Din, or a new Vader. And it's this endless loop on Discord. Every six months, I'm hearing like, this is the best thing of all time i'm like oh an another din granted I, hasbro has that same issue another din another din another yeah. din but we finally got our definitive <clears throat> you're not wrong there but <laughs> at least we're getting other characters in black series where as like yeah. sh figure arts and mafex are both they're both just stuck in that rut like you're saying it's it's luke skywalker boba fett darth vader and din Djarin. And they just cycle through those those characters or and and or they re-release the old one or they re-release mm. it with a tweak or they do something mm. like that. It's like they How never often do they release them each year. It's not many. No, it's only a couple yeah. a year, especially right. for the Star Wars stuff. It's like right. you know, a handful a oh, handful yeah. of figures. Okay. So it's it's not really like I don't, I don't know if you could like really be like a like a you know like a collector where like you're you're like only ever talking about Star Wars import figures because there just aren't so many. Just few and far between. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't think they will, Kobe. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people, uh, you know, saying or sharing that sentiment. Like, man, I hope SHF or Mafex do Balin and Shin, but I, I just I don't see them doing it. I feel like it seems like they would do an Ahsoka first before they do those two characters. Yep, and if only they were to go that route. And Mafex's Ahsoka, I don't think is out yet. Mafex's Bo-Katan, mm -hmm. I don't think is out yet. So they're they're also still like super far behind on like just getting the most basic yeah. character out. Yeah, and I, I know you can say the same about Black Series, but like we said, that it's not just an endless loop of the same three or four characters with black, you know, we get crazy stuff like Darth Malgus. And obviously that's because these are mass produced. It, they, it's more quantity, you know, I, and the imports are like the definitive versions of like the heavy hitting big mm -hmm. 
characters. I would I wouldn't really expect them to do deep cuts. Yeah, but yeah. <clears throat> Chris, good attempt. But how about that shipping from Japan, brother? Let's be honest here. Let's be honest. You're at least paying 20 bucks to get that shipped. I've bought many things off of AmiAmi. Well, well, even if it is just 64 flat, that's still two to three times more. Like, my point <laughs> still kind of stands that, you know, for how cheap the Black Series is, and it's even in the same conversation as the more expensive line, mm -hmm. whether that be 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, whatever, you know. And shipping from Japan is not cheap. Oh, 100%, <laughs> Wookie. 100%. Yep. I wouldn't expect any other input. Yeah. Unless it's like Hot Toys, but if we're just talking 1 12th scale, then yeah, I, I wouldn't expect any of them to do a Dark Trooper. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. And I and I do like the import figures I have too. Uh, I, I like the Star Wars ones I've got. I have Anakin. I just got the S the SH Figure Arts Revenge of the Sith Yoda. That's an amazing figure. But hmm. um, yeah, I don't know. I just I feel like you can't beat the variety of the Black Series. And I love how that to that totally spawned out of a random discussion there. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but yeah, I I just you know. I feel like there's going to be a lot of discussion about Glavis Ringworld Mando versus Mafex Mando 2.0. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> if it ain't $100, <laughs> I don't want it. Are you saying that you want the Mafex Mando page? Because you could buy it. Yeah. <laughs> and it, I, I meant in the context of comparing it to imports. I'm not, right. Obviously, they're not like cheap, cheap, but... Mm -hmm. cheap compared to whatever import you're comparing it to right right but uh yeah so do you guys want to talk a little bit of black series news and uh yeah let's do it so jump into what we got today let's go to the news there we are <laughs> so the first thing we should probably talk about is some in-hand shots of the new phantom menace figures which hey. there's there's some controversy with this mm -hmm. there is some controversy with this so i just wanted to bring up the reddit page to give them the proper credit it's <coughs> polished mahogany <laughs> polished um, mahogany that's what it looked like but it's well, an extra it's, eye in there yeah there's an <laughs> eye in there polished polished whatever. mahogany uh that's the reddit user and i can bring up the photos so we can take a closer look i like how the screen just goes white yeah i like that all three of our faces lit up mm -hmm. uh the white screen go. there we go uh, ah. so they have some shots mm -hmm. and right away i want to say the padme has a qc issue yep because the you can even tell the eye where the eyes are supposed to be printed you can see this like bulge Mm -hmm. yeah right like, here definitely looks like it's printed way high up yeah yeah it <laughs> gives her this empty space yeah mm -hmm. Look, looks like she's got major bags under her eyes <laughs> right uh so this padme is a misprint it is a mm. qc issue so that means your mo will more than likely not look like that <laughs> fair <laughs> enough jayhawk <laughs> true anakin looks pretty great though i'll say it it does yeah. for what it is it looks pretty good what's under his eyes did they give him freckles or yeah there's he's got his freckles or, or something yeah yeah okay. but it is just nice to see all these phantom menace characters together i like yeah. it yeah the group sh the group shot i was like ooh, that's nice. a little jar jar back there <laughs> they should have jar jar doing this behind obi-wan's head <laughs> right yeah respect I still for need jar jar that Ooh. Oh, really? Yeah, I still need that Obi-Wan. Yeah, that's a tough one. That's a... I know. It's about 70 on Amazon and about that much on eBay. Mm -hmm. It's up there. Mm -hmm. I agree, Mr. Coffee. I still think she looks good. He, like, Obviously, it's a misprint, but Just I can tell. Little... Yeah, yeah, I can tell how it's supposed to look, and I, I think it's going to turn out great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I agree. This, this does look a little dull. 
the gray plastic. Mm-hmm. Her little Naboo blaster. Mm-hmm. They should have made it a touch shinier. Yeah. Yeah, you can really tell here. Like, that's obviously a misprint. Mm-hmm. Um, I, d- I do appreciate the person mm-hmm. actually trying to pose the figure to make it look a little bit better, like tilting the head. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they clearly used the autofocus feature on their phone, which always isn't the case with these first Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Mahogany. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, the hairline isn't quite as obnoxious as it looked in the render. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. I, I think they... So. Did they end up officially saying that that was like a prototype error or something about that render? I don't know. But it was way up here. It looked like oh, me. She had the seven head going on. Exactly. But, um, yeah, no, this looks good. The gold detailing looks nice, although you could tell it's a little, a little sloppy kind of by the shoulder, but mm-hmm. she yeah. looks good. She First looks look good. wasn't taken off a flip phone uh-huh. impossible. <laughs> yeah. And then Anakin, obviously we've said this before, but he needed a little, you know, dirt. Yeah. I was, uh, that's initially mm-hmm. what stuck out to me. And again, sticks out to me now. He just mm-hmm. looks so clean. clean. <laughs> 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 like my boy is like you said, Justin, <laughs> At this point in his life, he is a literal slave and is uh, being, you know, he's in forced labor. He is working on machines, equipment, getting oil, grease, dust, dirt. He lives on Tatooine. Could we have just gotten a little bit of something? Is there some sort of shading or is this just shadow? I think that's just (laughs) lighting. Yeah, I think it's just the lighting. The wash in the hair looks good. It does actually. It does. That looks nice. It does. The head they looks do. great. The face looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. I like the undershirt. <laughs> oh no, Luke. Slave. <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, not that you know, it's going to be a simple, easy little bit of paint to fix Anakin. Alt hand. Oh. Hey. Another, the second, both Padme's having alt hand. I was going to say, this is obviously a carryover from the original Padme. It's Mm got to be. Yeah. Well, yeah, because the grip on the the E5 is about the same size as that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, does this mean we can get like a Captain Panaka now that they Mm -hmm. sculpted this blaster? At the S... Was that the S twenty one S one something? Yeah, like that? you're. I know you're like an expert on blasters. <laughs> it's an S something. Can't remember. That's cool. <laughs> Captain Panaka would really help polish out Phantom Menace. They should just do some like battle droid repaints too. Mm-hmm. And Anakin comes with his little backpack, and look at that. There's a little. They, they give us one little stripe. There's one paint head. <laughs> Is that the holder for his Stanley Cup? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> he had to club someone over the head He's going with his Sarge backpack to get that. it. <laughs> oh yeah, and a Naboo guard, of course. Yeah, yeah. just some random Naboo guard. That'd be, yeah, that'd be nice. Yep. Yeah, I'd, I would love that. I feel mm-hmm. like uh, Anakin could have could have got that pod racer helmet, maybe. Yeah, I'm I'm really feeling the lack of accessories on this one. Like it's a prequel film character, so I'm picking it up regardless. Mm-hmm. But the helmet or something would have been great because it's a smaller character. So if you look at something like Wicket or like the Ewoks, like yeah, they're smaller and they're full price, but they usually offset it with paint and a surplus of accessories. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, there you go, Luke. N one has lab. Let's go. Black series N one. And mm-hmm. it and it comes in yellow first. <laughs> and we have the mural. And he's connecting to Jar Jar all these years later. <laughs> oh. It looks good. Mm-hmm. And I'm assuming the Jordic is number four. I believe so, yeah. No. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Could have been I love the Tatooine head. mural in the background. That looks very good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it like bleeds into Naboo, I guess. And then yeah. it's like Tatooine, right. and then it 
turns yeah. into Nabu. Yeah. With Will Bond, appreciate you for being a member for eight months. Mm -hmm. He oh. says, little Annie should have come with the helmet. Watching today with my kitty cats, Boba and Ahsoka. <laughs> Nice. Good old kitty cats. Yeah, the color is off, but take a look at your Mando mural. You'll actually find plenty of colors that are off in your uh -oh. Mando mural. Uh-oh. Because uh, I, I saw some of those comments, and there's actually been quite a bit of Galaxy packaging that has mm -hmm. an off color. Mm -hmm. Not an inbox, or I don't even keep the boxes, so it, you know... I'm happy yeah, with those it, overall. It's hard to say, Brian. Look at the accessories we got with Omega. Oh, and yeah, Annie. It's it it's so hard to just say why or how anything is made or why it doesn't come with more accessories or more paint. Hey, if Hasbro PR would actually respond to our email, we could get some answers. <laughs> we could get Eric on the lazy Sunday live stream and we could ask him all these questions. Guys, do you, thank you for the channel support, 49er Brian. Do you think we'll see any more Black Series 6-inch vehicles? Hmm. Absolutely not. I don't think so. No. I'm sorry, though. <laughs> yeah. I would I love it. Yeah. I, f I feel like anything outside of a speeder or something that's like that size is, is completely, unheard of. completely out of the question. Yeah, not too long ago, I saw a chart that someone put together and they had it all scaled up. So they had a picture of a person, you know, like a, a regular sized person. And then they had like a six inch Black Series figure beside them. And then they showed each ship as far as how mm. big it would be in, in relation to a person. Mm -hmm. And even Slave One would be almost as tall as a person. Yep. That's how big it would have to be. Mm hmm. The yeah, Millennium it's... Falcon would be the size of a room, <laughs> so, <laughs> you know. You'd have to buy a second house to get any yeah, of the yeah. of the ships that you yeah, would actually would just, want. Yeah, they would just be too big <clears throat> and too expensive. Yep, yep. And literally every single Black Series vehicle went on sale. It, they all went on clearance. So mm. um, even the heavy hitters like the Snowspeeder and the Dewback, they they did end up on clearance. So. And sadly, that was before I started collecting. Yeah, but yeah. I miss. Yeah, I miss that snow speeder on clearance. Um, uh, seeing the, nope. I, like, I I think it was worth you know the one twenty easily, but seeing mm. it go for like fifty sixty dollars, I was just like, <laughs> that's nutty. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely jump on that. You know, but an N one would still be pretty big. Yeah, I I feel like no matter what. When it comes to a Black Series uh, vehicle or a HasLab, if they're going to do something, it's going to have to be underscaled. And mm -hmm. I don't. And and then that I feel like is going to just create the the never ending issue of people complaining that it's it's undersized, but you know it can't be the full sized because yeah. uh, even even uh, TVC vehicles and stuff are are slightly scaled down, like the X Wing. Oh, yeah, look at like, the ghost. Yeah, the they ghost are. Is underscaled. Yeah, you know. but they, but you know it's like they have to be. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But I I don't know if just like the way that with Black Series collectors are, it would just be another controversial issue, and then the the Haslab yeah. wouldn't fund, and then we'd be here sitting here technically three and zero. Oh, you know. <laughs> yeah, Jonathan brings up a good point yeah. though. Like the the major the majority of the vehicles were red and black box days mm. at mm -hmm. the lines. You know, low point. So. Maybe with the 2020 influx, which is like, why don't they just like take a chance, like take a risk now that it's a different time, you know? Yeah. I mean, I think Jayhawk uh, mentioned Bark Speeder, mm -hmm. a yeah. blur, you know, some, you know, something that's, that's somewhat manageable. That is definitely true, mm -hmm. Arthur. It's definitely true, but I want it, mm -hmm. but I want it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want it anyway. What up? Yo, yo. Uh, quick shout out to Direwolf217 for being a member for nine months. And also nice. Mark Hauser for being a yeah. member for 21 months. Appreciate that, guys. It, Thank you so much. It is much. the best way 
to support us. There's a link to that in the description. There's a 99 cent tier, 4.99 tier. I don't think my nightbot is working today. My uh -oh. commands aren't working. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Hmm. Nightbot, come back. He's on vacation. Oh yeah, ATRT. That was the other one. Hmm. Yeah, that'd be dope. Yeah. Yeah. Jedi Definitely. Starfighter. Easy. Yeah, I, I really want like Anakin and Obi Wan's Jedi mm -hmm. Starfighters from. Those would be cool. Or interceptors from Revenge of the Sith. Bantha with R four, or... yeah, with R four and R two. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Graydon. I think mm. Darth Maul. Darth Maul's speeder is a no brainer. That would be so easy for them to do, especially mm. now that there's allegedly a new one, a new Maul coming. Mm. Yeah. Well, Pletho, I think Arthur <clears throat> said it best. You know. TVC is the world building scale, and I think Black Series is more character driven. I, mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, that's the majority of the releases. Mm -hmm. It's more about the sculpt, the engineering, yeah, the design. The details visually, right? they just look better. Yeah. And that's not a dig at TVC, of course. No. It's just obviously there's a, exceptions where the TVC figure is actually better, mm. but. I think generally speaking, the articulation is better, the sculpting, the engineering behind the figures. It's just more character focused, character right. appreciation. And then TVC, they get super amount of accessories, super high amount of accessories, <clears throat> more diorama playset, deluxe sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. Tatooine skiff would be great, but we literally have one figure that would go with the skiff. <laughs> They they literally do not have any other Black Series yeah. figures for any skiff looks. Chewie, Han, all we'd have is Luke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Luke. Well, I'll I guess you the, can have Boba Fett. I mean, take the, helmet, yeah. I'll take the helmet off of Boba Lando, Fett. I guess. No. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. So we got three. We got three <laughs> characters we could throw on the uh, on the skiff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, another thing I wanted to bring <clears throat> up was Mister Stevie, who has an ear to the ground to the community he, he is now on the star wars team to some degree and i think that's a good thing because he does a lot of interactions with fans on his social media uh emily does as well on the star wars team but other than that there's nobody on the star wars team that really interacts on mm -hmm. social media and they took a poll which i thought was interesting which is just submitting your favorite star wars video game and on the out of the basement account i submitted star wars battlefront 2004 and i made sure to specify the early 2000s version which i think there might be a misunderstanding with the results of this poll hmm. but uh battlefront 2 was the winner number two was kotor number three shadows of the empire number four jedi survivor and number five the force unleashed and I, I commented, uh, are we sure we didn't all collectively mean Battlefront 2 2005? <laughs> because hmm. I I think when people say Battlefront 2, I think they mean Battlefront 2 2005. I, I... It's hard to say at this point because, uh, I mean, obviously Battlefront 2 2017 uh, was pretty hated at first, but now it's pretty beloved, mm -hmm. so... I still play it a lot. Um, there's yeah. still a pretty large yeah. community for it. So mm -hmm. I I honestly wouldn't be shocked if if this is accurate. <clears throat> I cuz it's just a really popular game now, especially since it's really the only Star Wars shooter multiplayer game that you could play right now. That's, that's literally it, really. <clears throat> yeah. Uh but you are right. I the game turned out really good mm -hmm. but that first mm -hmm. like year or six months oh my gosh like rough. they were getting like federally investigated child mm -hmm. gambling and oh yeah that <laughs> all the loot loot crate yeah, the, yeah. crap and all that mm -hmm. um what was that pay to win yeah, yeah but like battlefront that, yeah. 2 2005 is just a, a damn classic and it is a, a, both are great games, but when it comes to, like, if he's trying to probe for, like, figure interest, mm 
Mm-hmm. I would really prefer the classic trooper, like get those classic trooper designs, like the dark trooper, the engineer, the the like two twelfth airborne. That was like the sniper class. Like there are some mm. great skins though in Battlefront two twenty seventeen that I would love to see on clones. We could get f- that's true. Definitely. I feel like uh, the one that stuck out to me that was kind of surprising is Shadows of the Empire still being like that high up in the discussion because it was a damn N64 game. (laughs) (laughs) Crazy that that was like the third most suggested uh, game. But people love that Dash Rendar. Yep, we could get Pajama Dooku from 2017. <laughs> I want the troopers, though. To That's a nice look. Alien Rebels. Oh, yeah, Late Night Collectibles. Sneaking a 41st Elite Scout Trooper as a gaming greats. Rodian Commando. Yeah, for me, ever since they did the Umbra Operative, I have wanted the Lambent Seeker uh, mm. art trooper with the green. Yeah. That's a good looking <laughs> trooper. You mean just like TVC got? <laughs> TVC yeah. gets like all of them. They got every balance the <laughs> scales. <laughs> Look yeah. at Nate. That's he so also funny. asked about Marvel. So funny. Oh, okay. But yeah, I just but, wanted to briefly mention that. That's cool. cool. I mean, it definitely seems like the gaming greats line has been working out very well for them. As we all know, it started out as just repaints, and now it's moved into. Slight, and then it moved into slightly new tooling, and now it's moved into entirely brand new figures head to toe. So I think that clearly means there is demand for gaming figures. So hopefully this means we might actually see some different kind of stuff coming soon. Hopefully people can finally get a Dash Rendar. I'd buy Dash Rendar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm down. I'm down. Yeah. Get Turgle from Jedi Survivor. We need <laughs> Turgle. That's the number one figure from Jedi Survivor. <laughs> yeah. So and that's actually repackage a scout and name him Rick the Door Technician. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I'm down. Yeah. Easy. That is it for news. Mm-hmm. Since we're only fifty minutes into the stream, I had a little activity idea. Ooh, I like activities. And, and if time, you know, permitted, I was going to bring it up. And we got through the news pretty quick, I would say. Yeah. So, uh, Wilbon, friend of the channel, sent me something. And it's in the same, I'm pretty sure it's from the same site that makes the tier lists. But it's called Bracket Fights. Mm. Hmm. So, I was going to pull this up. And show you guys. Okay. Go into... um, and he sent this to us and said it would be a fun thing to do on stream. Where he chose basically w- what he s- says is like some of the best black series of all time. And we would go down the bracket and choose a winner. Mm. Okay. And I thought maybe the three of us could collectively work together. Mm. Yeah. I do like to, the sound to of this. Choose every match, every uh, matchup. I see an so, orange baldron sand trooper and Glavis ring world man. Yeah, Double oh. Seven. You know, <laughs> then, <laughs> I love my activities. I, I do. I see a gam guard. Oh my. Yeah, there. It'll, it, it'll look like this, so it's easier. Okay. Oh, nice. So this is, this is his. Oh, you can randomize the matchups. Oh wow. Oh. Or should mm. I just go with what you originally made? I think we should go with what Will Bond made. Yeah. <laughs> get ready. <laughs> Sounds like I'm going to get triggered today. Okay, so, boys, <clears throat> up first, we have the 40th anniversary Return of the Jedi brand new tool of R2 versus count dooku another you know top 15 top 20 figure in the line yeah on head sculpt alone Mm. this is already it's already (laughs) tough i can't i can't choose this is (laughs) 
yeah because it's like he chose the best of the best so it's like even round one it's just like heartbreaks you know I personally mean, for what were you gonna say i'm just thinking for shelf presence i'm thinking dooku i was thinking r2 that's my were gut you? okay <laughs> because i to me i was just thinking like what was more important to get into the line i feel well, like r2 was just that's so a very good point important to that's get. an excellent point I like justin you read my mind because that's literally <laughs> my thought process was while i love dooku 10 there years no lobot in the book <clears throat> series yet there, yeah yet uh but 10 years of having a small ass r2 was tough <laughs> very so so actually yep. having a properly sized one almost spit out my mountain dew <laughs> <clears throat> i feel like r2's gotta it's gotta be the one yeah all right r2 versus Dooku equals lobot <laughs> yes <laughs> what he said where's lobot all right are we in agreement yeah let's do it oh, let's do it all right Sorry, chat. Yeah. Bald, badass Lobot. He's not in the line yet. Hey, Oka, calm down there, buddy. He's coming. <laughs> He's coming soon. <laughs> not not really. I just made that up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is a bit of an interesting one. Not as heavy. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the Lucasfilm Publishing Luke, which is on the best Luke body with the best Luke you know, likeness. Mm -hmm. Versus Ayla like Sakura. I feel like this one's pretty easy. But then we have a prequel Jedi. True. It's got it's gotta be Ayla, right? I'm thinking Ayla too, That's even with that Holdo for. reuse. Or is even it Orising? It's technically Holdo. Holdo first, then Ayla, Orising. Ayla, Ayla, Ayla. <laughs> but she's this. got she's got the adjusted hips, so she can kick forward. So she's got yeah. she's all good. Yeah, we'll go with it. Bro, Ooh, what? oh man, I'm leaving. Ooh. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. So we, got, so we got figure of the year and then another potential figure of the year. I was going to say it's like 2023 figure of the year versus potential 2024 figure of the year. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. I should have made a poll in chat, but it would be <laughs> tedious to do one for every single. I think yeah. that'd be too tedious to do for every single poll. It it would be. Mm. Oh my gosh, this, this I'm, chat I'm is split. Born. They're all saying Malgus. We've had a bunch of Mandos, <laughs> but only one Malgus. But this one's the this definitive. This is a unique man. This is a. Very, and it technically is Death Watch, a little bit of Death Watch Mando reuse. Oh yeah, that is true. It is Death Watch. Well, I'm saying pull this one. All right, all right. Mm. Let's pull it. All right, we'll we can pull this. One. <laughs> How do I do it? Oh, <laughs> how do I do it? <laughs> <laughs> Who better? Which? You... <laughs> yeah, word it just like that. Yeah, Glavis Ring World. Or Malgus. You must choose. <laughs> and then what uh, Palpatine said? Yes. You must choose. I'm too weak to choose. <laughs> Help me. Help me. <laughs> Anakin, I, I told you. The Jedi are taking over. <laughs> I, I can't choose between Malgus and Ring World Mando. I'm too weak. <laughs> I feel like ultimately... I kn I know where I'm landing on this one. Oh, my, look at the pole. Pretty sneaking close. My decision is is locked. Yeah, I'm... <sighs> Malgus is a new sculpt, hundred percent. I like how it the it's, the yeah. bars just keep going like yeah. this. Oh snap! Oh snap! Oh it's my gosh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Watch it wind up being fifty fifty. <laughs> The chat is split. Yeah, look at that. There it is. There's 50-50 right look there. That. That's facts, Alpec. That's facts. 
Goes to show how good these figs are. Use my bracket. I beg you. No. It's still oh. Maldus. There's probably like so many more instances of, oh no, I can't choose. Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to say Malgus. I, Malgus was my lock. Yeah. Matt, you are you in agreement? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go with Malgus just because it was, mm-hmm. yeah, all new sculpt. Okay, let's wait. Massive, amazing shelf presence. Yeah. 11 more votes and we'll call it Meal Mox. 93 votes. 94 votes. So this is how Liberty dies. <laughs> Under us applause. Wow. Yeah, because it Din is a character that we've had before, and Malgus isn't, so... Yep. Okay, in hindsight, it's kind of an easy choice. <clears throat> yeah. I, it was just hard to say no to the new Din. It's hard to say no to Din. <laughs> five five more votes, guys. Come on now. Sorry, Din. After buying voting. 16 Mandos, I wish I knew how to quit you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I agree, Mark. Yep, Malgus. You guys right. are really going to stiff me on the five votes. They're going to stiff you. All right, that's fine. <laughs> Poll ended. Nice. 55% Malgus, 44% Mando. Yep. I agree with chat. Malgus. I now almost this, accidentally. This next one is dumb. <laughs> Wilbon, did you do this on purpose? This is asking me to like pick between my kids, man. First instinct, I'm going to say 2020 Stormtrooper. Oh, absolutely. J- and, yeah, and, that and, updated and, body... And not Obi Wan is melting right now that we just <laughs> that we just immediately said that you, that you dethroned the uh, orange pod and sand trooper. I love the twenty twenty stormtrooper. I think it's the best trooper, like army builder that Hasbro has ever done. I have like ten of them, and I can't say the same <laughs> for the sand trooper. Yeah. Yeah. 2020. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, that just like it kind of breaks my heart. <laughs> there he is. All right. There he is. Not, Not Obi Wan. One the day. Reason? Oh, I was just about to say the reason. No, I was just I was gonna say we'll make a video, but oh okay. No, I th- I think it's fine. We want to do like a basically like a Black Series Hall of Fame video. <clears throat> Where yeah. we talk about figures that are so good that they just they're in a different level. <laughs> yeah, and it but ten years later they just don't hold up to today's engineering and sculpting and articulation standards. Yeah. So it's just not fair to compare it's like apples and oranges, you know? I don't know. I don't <laughs> well, know. <laughs> plus after like so many years in a row of uh you know, just Endless. Everyone knows that it's going to be Sand Trooper. It was nice. Yeah. It was nice to trick everyone this year <laughs> and, and be like, and guess what? It's not the Sand Trooper. Yeah, and that Emperor was only thirty nine ninety nine, and it came with oh. three. What was it three heads? Electricity hands, the cane, the throne. Are you kidding me? R two D two, right, guys? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. And- oh. <laughs> now this one's tough this one's tough uh, Matt, 2020 what's your first... I mean, I say, back... Matt what's your first thought I mean going back to what someone said the impact it had on the line as a whole yeah getting a figure that's so poseable and practically you know perfectly proportioned I don't know. But, you know, <laughs> Late Night turned around and said, Malgus, baby. So, mm. Mm. Grievous. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Got you. I, when I'm thinking importance of the line, like, it's importance to the line as a whole. It's like if I got rid of my whole collection and I can only keep, like, five figures, the 2020 Stormtrooper would be one of them. And I probably wouldn't 
say the same for Malgus. <laughs> the disrespect. But I think Malgus is the better. Well, is it is it the better figure though? We got rid of that thigh swivel. <laughs> <laughs> this one's True. toughy. I it's think toughy. the 2020 Stormtrooper falls under the same category as R2. Whereas yeah, it, was, just, it, was a, it was just a much needed update. Something that the line like desperately needed. Uh, and obviously we needed Amalgus too. I'm not, I'm not saying that, but I think a, an updated Stormtrooper that actually looked like a guy in armor was a little bit more important than Amalgus. So I would say 2020 Stormtrooper. We did not go through the stress of Mando versus Malgus to wipe him off the board this <laughs> soon. Matt, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? Yeah, yeah let's go Stormtrooper. All right. Just because it's more important. Oh! Have those on the shelf. Oh, man. I keep forgetting how brackets work. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, yeah, that means this one's going to go against the R2. I'm surprised no one's remember the comment someone finally commented like Malgus was number one on your 2023 list but then it's lower <laughs> than this character on the all-time mm. list yep <laughs> and basically that boils down to uh it's our channel <laughs> on some, well, on that, i will defend that i will defend putting r2 above Malgus. Oh, on yeah. the all-time video, even though Malgus was above R2 on the 2023 video. And mm -hmm. that is because when I think of all-time, I just think differently. I think importance to the line. The yearly mm -hmm. lists, I just think purely like the best figure. Oh, yeah, just for that year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now this one... I think it's kind of split again. People are saying R2, people are saying Stormy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know on this one. I mean, as far as a figure that I like to just pick up and play with, Stormtrooper. That is definitely yeah. true. R2 is just kind of like, I put him on the shelf and I was like... He's there. You know, it looks great, but he's, you know... It's a fair point. I don't know. Mm. People are calling for a poll on this uh, one. <laughs> I love Man. messing around with stormtroopers. This is Com so tough. Comic line black or Santa, obviously. <laughs> that is down to about 13 bucks on Amazon right now. I've been tempted just to see how horrible it really is. <laughs> it, I saw it somewhere else. Was it Walmart? It was either Walmart or Kids Warehouse. I saw it for like eight or nine bucks i think or dang maybe ten not true toby i have like 12 and only one of them is warped wow oh. i i think the first run mm -hmm. had that issue but they've been fine for me ever since let's i'm feeling stormtrooper yeah yeah i i think i agree i think if someone like forced me to sell and I can only keep like the R2 or the Stormy, I'd probably keep the Stormy. Mm. Yeah. Sto Matt, you're right though. The Stormy's just the fun figure. It's the figure to play with. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No. No. Bro, no. No, no. Not my two babies. <laughs> Not. This is ridiculous. These Gamorian, pairings. Gamorrean are... guard has a wash. Boba Fett does not. <laughs> Gamorrean guard has perfect soft goods. Boba Fett has hard plastic. Yeah. Boba Fett, brand new amazing figure. <laughs> Boba Fett, new sculpt, $29.99, truly helmet, deluxe. <clears throat> it did have a funky helmet. True. True. But it did also have flame effect, but cut in half, have blaster. Accessories and a grappling hook that you can't really use. <laughs> um, it's like two two inches long. It's a string. Yeah. But the Gamgard oh is one of the best figures in the line. 
Yeah. Period. I, yes, it uh, is, Commander. It is on the 2020 body. Hmm. I honestly want to. <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> okay, Shrek. I'm gonna say <laughs> Gam- Gamgard. Boba oh. Fett also has the knee pad issue. Okay. The knee pad issue Matt? is is mildly annoying. What are you thinking, I'm, Matt? I'm leaning towards Gamgard just because it just looks so stinking good. And it's got the open mouth with the painted it's tongue. Got the mouth gimmick. Um, pig boy. <laughs> pig boy. And three large weapons and a big brown huggies on. <laughs> uh, I think I agree, I'm, Jayhawk. I'm kind of leaning towards Gamgard. Gam- Gamgard has better paint, too. It has the mm-hmm. wash. It's mm-hmm. just such a good figure. I'm doing it. Do it. Oh, this one's easy for mm-hmm. me. Hmm. Clone Wars Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> Versus 40th Luke. Both characters are amazing. Like, both figures are amazing, but they're also reuse. So we can't even really go that route. Mm -hmm. They're both pretty heavy on reuse. Oh, oh, I'm going to say Obi-Wan. Yeah, my brain immediately went to Uh, Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan, no no questions asked. mm -hmm. That's one of my favorite figures. I don't know why that even took me a second. Ooh, this is an interesting one now. Dual Zen. I would say Dual Zen. <laughs> it's an interesting one. But dual about- I mean, the, yeah, the ESB Vader is like the definitive Vader. It's just so good. But that Anakin is pretty amazing. I think something is off on the Empire Strike. I used to be in the boat that I said ESB Vader is easily the best Vader they've done, but I think something is just a little off on the helmet. Hmm. Yeah. Like I, the sculpting, the proportion, something is just hmm. off on it to me. And that Hayden likeness and the sculpt on the Dual Zen helmet. They even sculpted a little slice on the back of the figure and like matched it up with the soft goods. Um, dang, dang good figure. I could go either way. It is. I could go either way. I mean, Duel Zim was in my top 10 of 2023. But I've you... just always liked the ESB Vader. I, I don't know. Yep. ESB is <clears throat> great. That's a great Vader. Yeah. Uh, I say, Matt, you decide. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Matt's choice. Yeah, I, I could go either way, so whatever you guys say. Yeah. I'm fine with. I mean, the half of, of, of Hayden's face is pretty good. <laughs> that is it's very good. And it was a good scene. Oh, yeah. Good scene. At the very least. Yeah. Let's go with duels in. And he's got the vertical hinges. Oh, he's got the vertical hinges. The birdies. All right. All right. Duels end. Oh. Oh, this one's fun. Hmm. Mo. The soft goods on Ventures is so good, but I agree, Mo. Yeah, but it's Mo. Oh, I love Ventress. Ventress is a uh, dark side ray Reeves. Yeah. Mm. The legs. Oh, Maul, here's a new sculpt. And the yeah. arms, too, on like these wraps, I think. Really? Yeah. I wow. could be wrong on that. I don't own dark side ray, but it seems like that's. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah, cool. I feel like Maul. It's just a great figure. But I love Ventress. Hmm. First thought, Gamgard. Yeah. <laughs> Gamgard. Yep. I mm. I just the vibe is right. <laughs> the vibe is right. Ooh, I'm still gonna say Mall. 
Mm -hmm. That's exactly where my brain went. Yeah, Maul. I think I was no. just way more hyped. I like how this side has been way easier, the right side. Ooh. Yeah. I'm going to say Gamgard now. <laughs> <laughs> my mind the is just... It's I don't like this. This is tough. I guess the I one could have used a again. bit more leg posability. Nah, yeah, no this idea. one's kind of tough here. Yeah. Yeah, Gamgard, 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 Gamgard Maul, Maul, Pig, Maul, Gamgard, Maul, just... Cam, Maul. <clears throat> no pins, me likey. Good point. Mm, true. I don't think that figure's bad at all. I think it's like the most well-articulated Jedi because it has that those clone trooper arms. Yeah, Gamgard, Gammy, Gam... Trash bracket, I'm out. Mall, mall. <laughs> gam guard, gam, 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 mall, mall, mm. mall, 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 mall. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> half and half. Hmm. Mall, mall, mall. Male. Male. <laughs> Ah, oh, all right. right, Justin. What are you thinking? My mind is saying Ga Gamorian guard. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm thinking character, and I'm 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 wanting to go with Maul. You could definitely argue that it was more important to get a Clone That's... Wars Maul. <laughs> yep, it was more important to get him, especially having Ahsoka. And mm. it is a great figure. Brand new sculpt, good face. I, I'm, I'm, I could go either way. So if you guys do want to go mall, I'm fine. Nate, let's do mall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, my my logic behind picking mall <clears throat> was just like just like the stormtrooper R two D two, like importance level, mm -hmm. you know. If we're going to factor in importance level for the Stormtrooper and for R2, then I feel like you got to factor that in for Darth Maul as well. But this last one here. Yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> Stormtrooper versus Maul in the ultimate Black Series showdown. Who will win? While you guys are voting, I have to use the restroom. Classic. Okay. Classic. Mark, it on, mark it on the bingo Not card. Obi -Wan. <laughs> Get your bingo card. Get that bingo card out. You got to take a bathroom break. Classic. Again, I find myself screwing around with stormtroopers more than I do Maul. Yeah. Uh, I have Maul in a good pose. Mm -hmm. But I always play with the troopers yeah i feel like especially now when it comes to mall the mall figure that i like to go grab is actually old master mm, yes because that one just has that slight edge in the articulation like the ab crunch yeah. so i'm like yeah when i'm in the mood to mess with a darth mall i'm like i'm grabbing him mm -hmm. and i'm not really grabbing clone wars season seven mall yeah. Although I I did just adjust my Clone Wars Season 7 mall and gave him the Darksaber just for funsies. Ooh. Since I nice. now had a, another spare Darksaber thanks to Credit Collection. Moff Gideon. Moff Gideon, yeah. It's like, ooh, another Darksaber. <laughs> How exciting. Yeah. Yeah, but... So cool. Still. You can reenact the pre Vizsla and Maul <laughs> fight. Have pre Vizsla's head cut off. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, Prophet saying Gamgard was robbed. Hmm. I don't know. Troopers, Troopers are, are more versatile. versatile. Yeah. Kobe says, how did the Gamorrean Guard beat Obi-Wan? Best figure, surely everyone would rather sell the Gamgard. <sighs> <sighs> I don't know. 
I love Return of the Jedi, though. My love for Return of the Jedi mm. is strong. <laughs> it's just we had to pick one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, these are tough. Yeah. It, ooh, it's hard. I'm going to say Stormtrooper. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I was just saying. Just yeah. Pull. Storm. Yeah. Oh yeah. We're going. Yeah. Stormy. So there I, we have it. Nice. I think that yeah. would very easily, very easily make sense. Like just in general, that the 2020 mm -hmm. Stormtrooper could very well be the best Black Series figure of all time. Yeah. But also keep in mind, you know, things like the Emperor with the throne was not on that bracket. <laughs> True. That was yeah. it was specifically Will Bond's bracket that he made. Yep. So let's take I had to download the photo. <laughs> there we go. There is nice. Will Bond's bracket. Thanks, Will Bond. That was tough. Yeah. But, but I think, yeah, I think that's the fair answer, though. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool screen. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, big Halo awesome. fan. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right, what did I have? That was it for like. Is there any other topics before recent pickups? Well, I just kind of wanted to have a little conversation with Matt kind of ask some some general questions oh, okay. about uh, the black series since we've been in a little bit of a controversial cycle with the line so Matt I just kind of want to ask you uh, how is your black series 2024 going so far and how are you feeling about the line with where it's at right now and with what we've got coming in the future I mean, I think the line is fine. When you look back at 2023, I mean, what an incredible year. Mm -hmm. And so far in 2025, hang on. Started a little list here. So 2024 <laughs> for me, Star Killer, well, Balin and Shin, mm -hmm. the Fleet Commander, great, R5D4, awesome, the single release Cad Bane, Glavis Ring World, the Tuscan Chieftain. Hey is great and the pike soldier mm -hmm. you know, I, I should get him tomorrow but so far it's been great i have no complaints and listening to the black series cantina podcast with yak face it sounds like it's going to be a very very good year yeah that got us all yeah. super hyped yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah that's uh we'll it's... See. i mean i try not to I try to stay positive and say like, yes. The January fan stream, you know, we got what three reveals, You're right? And and some decent pipelines, but you know what? I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, it is what it is. You know, it's only January. And we'll see. Yeah. But I'm yeah. I'm happy with where things are. And of course, this being the only line I collect, you know, makes it a little bit easier. Oh and, yeah. Um. Uh, mm. But yeah. Now, do you? I'm happy with it. Do you feel like they might be leaning too much into the prequels this year, or how are you feeling about just like the balance? I mean, so we got Anakin and Padme, Droidica, Super Battle Droid, Kiati Moody. Yeah, yeah, there's there's quite a few already, um, but I'm sure we'll get more from Bad Batch. I'm sure we'll get more from Mando season three. Mm -hmm. You know, you just have to wait and see. It's just not something I really think about. You know, as far as oh, we're come just, on, you know, yeah, I come just, on. I just kind of just you know, if it where's, comes out, where's the knee jerk if it's revealed, and I like it, I'll yeah. order. If I don't like it, I'll just skip it. You know, <laughs> I, I, saved. I think I'm in the same um, boat as you, Matt. It's just. I get them when I get them. I just yeah. get, you know, they get revealed and I pre-order the ones I want. Mm -hmm. I don't really, I don't. I either smile and go, oh, 
where I go, <laughs> okay, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's so much prequel film stuff coming, which mm -hmm. I just feel like was missing. Yeah. The prequel film stuff. You know, it's not all just Clone Wars and Clone mm -hmm. Troopers. It's other characters that we need. And I'm happy Absolutely. to finally have a young Annie. Mm. You know, a, a different Padme, finally. Because when did that first Padme come out? Yeah, it was like 2018? Or, or, yeah. Yeah, 2019. 2018, 2019. Yeah, it's it's been, been a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I'm super happy about the droidica. I'm mm. happy with the battle droid. Or super battle droid. Yeah, totally agreed, Jay. Hawk. Yeah. And I think we're looking good there. Like we just said, mm -hmm. B2 Super Battle Droid, the number one largest hole in the line in mm -hmm. the entire Star Wars universe. Yeah. Droidica, Kiati Mundi, Emperor Palpatine coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A new Anakin is apparently coming. <laughs> so I'm down for that. We shall see. In the Ahsoka line. Yep. Perhaps. You know it. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. You know it. But hey. mm -hmm. oh well. If if that's what it takes, if he's in takes. that outfit, it'll fit nicely in the uh, Revenge of the Sith section mm -hmm. as a stand-in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have to get two yeah. of them. I'd love to get Shakti and Luminara. Those are like the two yeah. most appropriate ones now that we're getting Kiati Mundi. I feel like mm -hmm. I feel like yeah. those are the two that you know going down the list of Jedi. They're yeah. next. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but yeah. So indeed. Yeah, I just wanted to ask you how you were feeling about the. Uh, yeah. I'm. I'm, line happy are going. I'm. You know. I'm. I'm not one to constantly say, "Man, where's Lobot? Or where's this? Or where's <laughs> that? Or where's?" I just don't. I, I just try not to get my mind wrapped up in what we don't have, and just look forward to what, you know, is coming out. It's a good mm -hmm. mentality. I like that. I mean, they're either going to make it or they're not. I mean, right. You know, and as far as, you know, like a new hope figures, yeah, there's a lot of holes. But if you think about it, we've waited 50 years almost for <laughs> six inch scale. <laughs> right. Figures for, you know, the Moss Eisley Cantina. So I can wait a little bit longer. <laughs> if they make them great, if not. And MoMA's coming. Hammerhead's coming one of yeah. these days. Yeah, yeah. And hopefully that will lead to. The furry fella. Now, what's yeah. yeah, muff tack. Muff yes, tack. Yes, yes. Or the... Um, Get Cabe, the little bat creature. Ones, the little, yeah, the little rat bat thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they should do like yeah, one or two a year. Bar. Yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> the other half of the bar. I feel and like the they should... The bar. Yeah. They, they should do like one or two of those a year. But every single yeah. year. Mm -hmm. Just do like one or two. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, somebody so, said Shock T Deluxe because pain apps. Yeah, and there's a lot I mean, of pain on her head. Yeah, that would be a lot of pain. It would look actually. good though. Yeah, should yeah. be worth it. Be worth it for Shock T. Get a nice big, giant robe. Big puppy thing. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> it would look yeah. good. The Tonica sisters. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would be, be great. Their death sticks, right? Didn't they have something? They? Yeah, they're like smoking weird no. space, some sort of space cigarette yeah. thingy. Space hookah. All right, you guys want to do some recent pickups? Oh, I love a good recent pickup. Oh, mm. I, yes, I, have you a, do. I have several sitting here. Nice. Ooh, we're traveling to the to Jabba's palace. Mm. We are taking a quick trip down. Yeah. New camera. I did not here. mean to cut you off there. You're fine. <laughs> I was just going to say, New Gunray would be a mm. good figure to get, but, you know. Especially now that we have Droidica coming, he could say, Where are those Droidicas? <laughs> right? Hunter, I know why you want that shock tea. <laughs> Same reason everyone wants Darth Talon. Mm. 
<laughs> no, bro. It's just a really cool character. <laughs> yep. Scantily clad, cool character. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So we got some recent pickups here. Yeah. Who would like to go first? It don't matter. Ooh. Let me switch the logo here. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Good call. I'll go first since I don't actually have any, but I have some things to show off. Ooh. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Lately, I've just been chugging away at these. I've oh, just, nice. You know, I've continued the hex mm -hmm. stand project got the prequels <laughs> the prequels are done so we have phantom menace attack of the clones 2d clone wars 3d oh, clone nice. wars revenge of the sith and then this one is like cis and i left a bunch of room for super battle droids and droidicas <laughs> and then i just did i just finished this one which is the mandalorian and book of boba fett hey. and cool the entire all my figures from Mando and Book of Boba Fett fit on one Billy Bookcase shelf perfectly. Ooh, so it, how many deep? So uh, like, not, deep? Yeah, I, I just have like a row of these okay. and, and I have it all the way back to the wall. Nice. That's just how, I, how I've done them. Cool. And th I love them and I did see Luke's new stands, but I'm sticking with Hex. I think hmm. the the Magic Risers, they're really good, but it's the more traditional tier risers, which the whole reason I went to Hex was because I don't like the traditional just tier risers. Mm -hmm. The symmetrical ones. Uh, yeah. I love hex my stands. Hex. They just look it so just, cool. You can yeah, they... You can sort of stagger them with those too, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and I, I like how they're not all uniform. Some are standing higher than others, mm -hmm. and, you know, I just yep. – it blends together better <clears throat> uh, than just standing right behind each other, mm -hmm. you know, four up or, or four back. Right. Yep, black shelves with the black hex stands. Luke says you're supposed to match the color of your shelf just to make it look like they're not there, and it's just – makes for a nice display mm -hmm. but uh yeah i'm working mm -hmm. on i switched some things i actually uh made this mando villains and or rogue one type stuff anti-hero imperial sort of stuff and then over here i'm doing rebels ahsoka mm -hmm. and i think like jedi fallen order stuff will be over here mm. Hmm. sequel trilogy so yeah bottom just I'm, I'm keeping the printer going day and night love these things That's so cool but then i did a thing uh-oh gotta open up my folder here to show you guys i can't believe it i <laughs> bought something that i can't show off because i sacrificed it me show you what i mean i bought a credit collection moff gideon for oh, eight dollars no. on amazon is only eight bucks i've seen everyone's videos shout out to robo who shouted out out of the basement and land speeder luke in one of their recent videos mm. true yeah about that. nate's uh youtube short that explains how to do this everyone pretty much has a video on this now so we just had to throw ours into the fray but since gideon was so cheap and <laughs> i uh i you know looking at all these videos and seeing how easy the modification was i decided to pick up an eight dollar credit collection moth mm -hmm. and here we go took off the legs off of shin those legs come off so easy yeah they just come right off did they know beforehand that we were going to be <laughs> swapping out parts landspeeder luke's in a conspiracy with hasbro to get us to buy more rebus <laughs> and credit collection moff gideons <laughs> yeah. more at 11. <laughs> um so yeah well gideon <laughs> took a little bath nice and yeah for yeah, all you brits out there party. Mm -hmm. Hey, guess what? All you British people out there, I used a microwave, bro. Don't tell them. 
<laughs> Don't tell them that they're going to say, why didn't you use an electric kettle? Why don't you just do that? Literally, that was the most random reaction to <laughs> just, Nate's just video. Just put the kettle on. Yeah. Is but, people thought we're like insane for using a microwave to heat up but, water. But what I don't think like the UK British people realize is the electric kettle to us is is obscure. That's a weird thing to have in like the States. Not many people have the electric kettle. You usually just mm -hmm. either boil the water on the <sighs> stove or like for us, I just put it in the microwave because it's the fastest option. It's the fastest yeah. way yeah, you're to get it. You're not consuming this water. Yeah, and yeah. You're not you consuming this water. But it's not electric, yeah. Right. right. You're literally heating up <clears throat> an funny. action figure. It's not like I'm making oatmeal or something. Mm. Mm -hmm. But yeah. that that was a really funny <laughs> reaction. Everyone's like, what are you doing? It, it would be... It would be one thing if it, yeah, if I was like heating water up in the microwave to like drink it, yeah, yeah, that'd be a little weird. But heating the water up in the microwave to dip my figures in real quick, I feel like that's just totally normal. <laughs> I love you, Scotty. I love you. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm not drinking the water. I. Yeah. I mean, I Especially suppose if you're. If your tap gets hot enough, uh, sure. But I wanted it like scorching hot because well, I want these it, joints to, you know. Even your hottest tap water, it, it it'll take a, hot enough. Yeah, yeah, it'll take. I mean, I'm sure you could eventually get it to that point, but you'd have to be sitting there soaking the figure for a long time. Whereas, you heat it up in the microwave for 90 seconds, you pull it out, it's hot as shit. You mm -hmm. throw the figures in yeah, there, no. and right. and like a minute later, no. it's. Yeah. Um nice. yeah, right. I didn't put the figure in there. It's just the water. <laughs> but uh <laughs> so mm. this is it's important to point out that Balin is unmodified in this photo. So mm. this is a completely normal Balin out of the box with the cubic 3D print orange lightsaber. Mm. And then this is the modified shin because um just a personal thing for me, the cheapest Riva for me to get would be $15 on Amazon. Mm -hmm. I know it's 13 on Big Bad, but with that $4 shipping, that turns into 17 then tax, and it's like mm -hmm. just a personal thing for myself. I'm like, how much do I really want to spend fixing a figure, modifying a figure? So even something like a $15 Riva, which obviously I can afford that, I can swing that, but it's just the principle of how much am I spending on fixing these figures that mm -hmm. should have just been right out of the box, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, but They're Shin has... Yeah. yeah, Shin has the larger discrepancy. She, like, was straight up six inches, mm -hmm. and the actress is, like, five... Eight. Yeah, five eight. She's five eight, I think. So uh, she yeah. was too tall compared to how Balin, how Balin is mm -hmm. too short. Uh, so if I can get a Riva for dirt cheap, which I've actually seen that wave showing up at Ollie's, I've seen some pictures, seems mm -hmm. like a really long time mm. for those figures to be randomly showing up at Ollie's, but, uh, yeah, her and the fifth brother kind of strange. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, interesting. Yeah. It was unfortunate because. You had already bought the credit the credit collection, um, ah. Gide Gideon, but <laughs> <laughs> Big Bad had the regular Gideon for like six bucks and I Riva, saw that. and and I was like, damn, Justin, that could have been a good little package deal to get the regular Gideon and Riva on Big Bad with the four dollars right. shipping. Because I will have to paint this now, because you can see it's blue. That yeah, it's blue, it's blue yeah. with the red stripe. However, Nate, you painted yours, so I'm just going to, you know, you're going to come uh, over one day. and I mean, it will literally take 20 seconds to yeah. paint the thighs. <laughs> so it's it's true that... Yeah. Here, I'll get mine real quick and show. You know, but imagine that black. You're not going to tell the difference. No. You know, you're just not going to Are you going to glue difference. the knee pads back on? Or are you going to leave them I, I probably will. Yeah. I probably will. Mm -hmm. Why not, you know? Yeah, but you know, hmm. credit where credits due. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. So now I got nice. a. Now you have a, an imperial credit accessory. 
Yeah, what am I, chat, what am I going to do with this? It's just a credit, you know? Yeah. It's just going to be on my desk forever now. Those are all in my box of accessories. Yeah, they should be marketing the Balin just... Shin Repair 2-pack. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah, that looks good. It's way better than it was. Yeah, I mean, even just, you know, she's Wait. shorter now. So even yeah. if I never end up fixing the Balin, yeah. at least it's better now. Mm -hmm. And it's only eight bucks. Yeah. What's, what does Nate got? What's he got? Balin shelf dived. Oh, no. Saber no, snap? I, I was just going to say. There's my shin. Good. Yeah. Right. So, like, you would never Ten know. Yep. Hmm. Although and you then, stained the inside of her cloak there. I did. And then I, I also painted the Riva legs on Balin. Oh, nice. Got them thick thighs. Yeah. Yep. And honestly, when you after you hmm. painted those and I saw it, I was like, oh, wow, that's not noticeable at all. Yeah. It's hmm. not. It's completely. Yeah, that's great. It literally just looks like, like, oh. Yeah, Nate, what am I going to do with my credit now? I put mine in my bin of garbage accessories. <laughs> but I've got, oh. I've got Balin holding the... Uh, the map? Oh, nice. The map. It looks like a giant Ferrero Rocher. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's a... Uh, no, that's cool, just... though. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Another thing to point out is if you buy the credit collection... Moff Gideon, you get a better dark saber. You get like the more. It's a little brighter. Yeah, mm -hmm. the white. And I gave that yeah. one to Bo-Katan, so you also mm. get like an extra little dark saber accessory that is the superior dark saber. Yep, I gave That's mine to Maul. That's great. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, at least so for me, recent pickups wise, I only have one thing this week, and <laughs> it's some it's some mid Farland. Everyone uh -oh. loves a, everyone loves a good mid Farland <laughs> pickup, um, but it was thirty bucks. I couldn't say no. I'm incredibly hyped for Dune. Ooh! So I got this Dune four pack, thirty dollars. Nice. You get Gurney, Paul, Chani, and Stilgar, and uh, no window. Really, McFarland? How am I supposed to know what's in here? Could be anything. Um, <laughs> PFP, really, Todd? Yeah, no, it's not PFP because oh, oh, that's cool. Here's the plastic. That's trick. really cool. Yeah, so these are some, not the best figures, but I'm just so hyped for Dune Two, and with this only being thirty bucks, I mean, come on, obviously two, four, six, eight, you know, eighty They're bucks. Sandy. Yep. Right. They, yeah. They've got they've got good details. Yeah. I mean, of course, where McFarland struggles is the face. The faces mm. are are. Not the best. Mm. I just like I That's cool even work. though I'm also obsessed with Dune after watching Denis Villeneuve's 2021 masterpiece, they're the figures just look so like they're all just in their still suits. Like I just want variety. Yeah, yeah. and they do have wired soft goods, which is crazy. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. So like you know, Paul's got wires in the cape. So does uh, Chani, but. And I do agree with you, Justin. It is weird that they're in their still suits, but I'm kind of thinking like maybe in Dune Two they're going to be in them more. So maybe it, it'll I mean, it make makes, a. It makes sense. Like I understand why, but like when I think of like Dune figures, like I would want like an armored Atreides soldier or like a Harkonnen. Yeah, you know, I, I definitely agree Sardaukar. With you. Like imagine a Sardaukar figure. That would be amazing. Oh yeah, I I 100% agree with you. I'm not I'm not disagreeing, but I hope more of the Dune figures go on sale because I, I I'm willing to dive into them, but I just I don't want to pay full price for them because they're just not that great. <laughs> yeah. But uh, that's my one and only actual pickup this week. So being McFarlane, are those seven inch? Yeah. 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 Yeah, there's there's seven inch scale. Yeah. Although I do also want to say, just like you mentioned earlier, Matt, I opened Tuscan uh, Chieftain. Yes, yes. What a badass figure. It looks great. The details are wonderful. Uh yeah. surprise surprisingly new. New torso, new head. 
Yeah. 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 Same arms and legs, but um, yeah. it looks phenomenal. Yeah. Did you I, have uh, that on recent pickups last week? I did in the package. Yeah. Oh. Cool but I but I opened them and shot a review. So. Yeah, I shot my review yesterday for this guy. Nice. It looks good. Yeah, it, I was actually surprised. I was fully it's expecting, really good. like, fully expecting it to just be 100% the Tuscan with a new head. Yeah. That's all I thought it was. But so no. when I when I saw those butterflies, I was like, hey, what is that? <laughs> Wait, what's that? That's, like, <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah. Honestly, I would yeah. never have expected that to have butters. I thought it was, like, yeah, straight see, I didn't up. expect that either. I didn't even mention that, but... And then you are right. Yeah. And Ooh. and even the nice. this the plastic skirt. This is a new sculpt. This is not the same plastic skirt that's no, on the not. which I was like that it just seems <laughs> like, like one of one of those things where you'd be like they wouldn't sculpt a new lower plastic skirt. That's cool. I may have to edit that in. Oh, by the way, there's a butterfly joint. Yeah. Thanks, uh, Nate. Get a that's little cool. butterfly. Yeah. I just didn't even think that they would put that on there mm -hmm. pretty slick that's yeah, a it's a nice looking figure yeah it is Graydon, nice. we have seen that Catwoman. are you talking about the dark knight rises one i think so passing on that one though yeah i mean it it looks fine but i just i don't have any more room for mcfarland yeah hmm. but yeah i just want to do uh shout out the tuscan chieftain because it was yeah. uh surprisingly good figure so it, surprise me and i love when a figure can surprise me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and yes big his robe is cool mm -hmm. i think you're being Very too cool positive robe. nate <laughs> i'm being a little too <laughs> positive here i gotta say those arms and legs are unacceptable and the whole <laughs> figure needed to be a new tool it makes you happy not obi-wan <laughs> glad it makes you happy i was just looking at that job bro <laughs> he's just yeah, I have a version that is without it, just in case it gets too annoying. <laughs> I actually stretched uh, the other day. I was just sitting in the den, and I kind of just stretched, and I went, "Oh, you got to talk I just made some, just start made making some. Java noises when you're I, stretching. I, I don't know why I did that, but it's that it sounded funny. True yeah. coffee, too funny. That's kind of like what we pointed out in the recent episode of Figure It Out when. Black Series got one Knight of Ren, TVC got a different Knight of Ren, and then mm. they just never did the other Any, Knights of Ren. Yeah, it's the same the thing other, with the yeah. the Tuscans. Oh. Is yeah. Black Series gets Chieftain, and then TVC gets Warrior. Although, didn't right. they pipeline Chieftain for TVC? They did. So I'm just wrong. So. I'm wrong. Never mind. Nice. Cool. I think so too, Wilbon. I'm, I, I didn't really like the Book of Boba Fett, but it's an interesting design i like tuscans mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so i'll yeah, pick it up on a sale well. same thing with cool. that fleet commander i'm gonna wait yep. on a sale with that one yep fleet yeah, commander's cool. fun you know exactly <laughs> what to expect but mm -hmm. it's fun yeah nice well yeah matt what about you for pickups i have several Ooh. Ooh. here here i'll start with I'll start with these. So, a couple of Ross finds. Hey. Ross? Ross. Wow. $5.99. Oh, that's $5 awesome. at Ross. Yeah, two of that's them. That's sick. Uh, they actually had like four, uh, but I just grabbed two. But yeah, I couldn't pass them up. I was like, okay, I don't own any other holiday figures, but these. I mean, I come can on. Put them out at Christmas. They look yeah. good. The boxes are in surprisingly good shape, too. Wow, I, yeah. that's actually kind of surprising because I think those were like weren't Hasbro those Hasbro Pulse? Pulse? I think so, and they're about huh. I think twenty five or thirty bucks on Amazon right now. That's so crazy that Hasbro Pulse yeah. exclusive figures made yeah. their way to Ross. That's oh, awesome. Five, five ninety nine. That's dead awesome. scale, man. That's why so fail scale. Yep, yeah, fail scale. Yeah, nice you're enough. you're so right. Um, and then this one. So the, so I grabbed this. Ooh, okay. And my camera, yeah, my camera's probably going to do funny things with this foil card. Uh, but let's see. Prior to to picking this up, uh, my <laughs> wife and I were watching some show. I can't even remember what it was. And somebody mentioned like a trap, 
or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and my wife actually goes, it's a trap in, in the Akbar voice. And I kind of looked over at her and I think I came back with something like concentrate all firepower on that super star destroyer. <laughs> and then we talked like that for a few minutes and then, and I guess I got bored with whatever we were watching. So I opened up Amazon and I saw this had dropped down to about 15 bucks. Mm. So I figured, eh, okay. Let's go. It, it was fate. Cool That's card. Awesome. Yeah, can't yep. let that go. Yeah, couldn't pass that up. Yep. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. We got that. We got that one it's, on card too. Yeah. Yeah, this is one I was kind of on the fence with, but after you know. How do you how do you feel about the just Kenner figures in general? Are, are is that something that like you're a little nostalgic for? Or does that tug at you I at all? Mean, I so this is actually the only one I have. I did not pick up Obi Wan mm. or Greedo. Okay. I have, the Jawa. Saved, I have them both saved on a list on Amazon, but they yeah they're like hovering around thirty bucks plus shipping. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna just wait. Uh, but I saw this was only fifteen. I figured, eh. yeah, hey, Eric, yeah. So there's that one, and then, all right. So after seeing the Bad Batch, I had to go to Ollie's. No, uh -oh. <laughs> and grab another Emperor for the uh, <laughs> nice. for the Bad Batch section of the display, <laughs> because I just really like that episode. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Why not? Can't Love go it. wrong with an Ollie's and Emperor. And, yeah, and it's the superior Emperor version with the version that can sit, you know. Yeah, exactly. Now, so the rest of these, you guys might uh, may know if you saw my community post. But here, I'll start with this one. So I was kind of hitting up some post exclusives that I missed the first time around. Mm -hmm. So I did grab Revenge of the Jedi Vader on Amazon, and it wound up being a little bit cheaper than what it would have been on Pulse. Wow. Okay. And this cool. is another one that I've always kind of been on the fence with, but it actually looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love yeah. that that little piece slides out and you can make yeah. a little display poster kind yeah. of deal with it. Yeah. So I'll grab that cool box. Mm -hmm. You know, you got the you know, the little write up how the working title was Revenge of the Jedi initially. Yep. I thought that was cool. No, I can't get that back in there. I'll pull with it. <laughs> yeah, it's and definitely then another cool. Pulse exclusive that I just didn't fool with was the John Favreau Paz Vizsla. Mm. And I found this on Amazon cheaper than what it would have been on Pulse. But just the fact that I have Trapper Wolf, I figured, hmm, I've always kind of wanted this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I snagged it. It was like $36. Oh, that's not bad at all. Yeah, I think it retailed for $39. And plus shipping, it was plus, like fifty. Plus shipping, so, I yeah. paid for that. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so thirty six on Amazon. So just plus that's dope. It was like you know thirty seven and change. So do you, do you have the George Lucas Stormtrooper? Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I do have that one. Nice. Got the Creator Collection. Oh, yeah, that one. And then another one I found on Amazon cheap is Infinity's Vader. And oh, this yeah. is another one that I've was kind of on the fence with mm -hmm. at first you know so just, good though yeah it just looks so i don't know just that white i know it's just going to look so good on the shelf mm -hmm. and i plan on putting it at the end of the jedi display yeah so nice. that's that's such yeah. it's such a simple but effective repaint of vader yeah <laughs> so nice. this was uh 21. oh perfect so not bad yeah not, not bad, bad. You're really That's filling the gaps. I know. <laughs> so this next one, all right. It, it came out in 2015. It was an Amazon exclusive. It retailed for 80. Ooh. Okay. I think I know where this is going. Now it's going for 120 plus. I found it on eBay for 50. Oh. Oh. And it is the trooper. Four pack. Now the box is there a little heat up, but it's still sealed. It is still sealed. Nice. But for fifty bucks, I figured, okay, cannot, cannot yep. pass that up. For sure. I mean, even though the figures kind of suck, <laughs> I still, it's still cool to have. Yeah, yeah, for fifty bucks, I figured 
that's a no-brainer. Worth it for the clones. It for is 50. missing one of these little things. One of those is missing, but it's okay. Yeah, because uh, yeah, that's the, the clone, only way to uh, get the commander. Yeah, the clone commander and just an all-white phase two. I figured, yeah, it's it's worth it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, nice fifty bucks, and then after shipping and tax, it was like sixty-two. Okay, which is still Easy. below retail. Mm -hmm. So yeah, not bad. Nice, and that's nice. it. That was a great haul. Mm -hmm. I know. Well, these have been sitting here for a while. I'm just you know. Kind of saving them. Nice. Uh, because nice. I've been, uh, as far as like reviews, I've been, you know, getting some new ones in. So, of course, I'll do those first. But after, so the Chieftain I'll probably put up probably next Saturday. Um, uh, because I recorded it yesterday. But usually, you know, uh, lately I've been doing like Saturday, you know, posts. Mm -hmm. And then the Pike Soldier is supposed to arrive tomorrow. So that may go up the following Saturday. But after that, I've got nothing as far as pre-orders till like yeah. spring. The Black Series drought. Did you get we'll the Mace a... Windu and 187th purple? I missed clone? that one. Ooh. I don't no, know. I missed it um, because I'm not a Pulse Premium member. I probably should be, but I'm not a premium member. No, we aren't either. No, you're not? No. Oh, no. But I missed that one. I was at work, and I guess for non-premium members, I guess it went up at, what, two? Yeah. Or so. And it, mm. Yeah. And I think it, I was, I was in the middle of a case or something, and I, I missed it. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, it it went pretty quick for. It I mean, did. <clears throat> it. I thought it was kind of insane because it sold out for Pulse Premium members, yes. which I was like, mm. wow. wow. So you're telling me if I was a Pulse Premium member, I could have missed it again. That's a that's negative. Nutty. Um, but then it went super quick when it went up for the rest of us peasants. You know, mm -hmm. it was just a few minutes. Yeah, I'm hoping it'll come back in stock, and I'll I'll grab it because I do want that purple clone. Yeah, that thing yeah. just looks awesome, yeah. just awesome. Yeah, uh, but I did grab the super battle droid and three PO thing. Oh yeah. So yeah, yeah. It's really just those like two packs that we all have on pre order, and that Anakin and Padme. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think they're all saying what May. Yeah, yeah, and but then I've got, I've got nothing from. From Pike Soldier to May. To May. So, oh, I'll hit some of these. You know, I'm I'm probably not going to fool with these. Yeah. Because they're hollow. I'm not going to do a video on those. Oops. Right. Um, I'm contemplating this one. You know, possibly doing a video on it just because it's different. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but definitely the others. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. It's the perfect time to catch up. Exactly. The yeah, old Black cool. Series drought. Yeah, just to yeah. get some content out there. <laughs> right. Uh, but I am looking forward to popping open this Trooper 4 pack just to see just how bad the articulation is on that first order. The first um, order Trooper is rough. Yeah. It yeah. is rough. Yeah. You get I I also really don't nice like team. that st that Stormtrooper cuz of the the like goofy the goofy weathering. Yeah. <laughs> You're just yeah. like the what is that supposed mark? to be? The weathering is they poor. like the stormtrooper like got like hit with a perfect circle. <laughs> it's yeah. like almost poking. He's got one little thing up here. Yeah, the Disney Store one, Toby. I agree. It's it's better. It's bad. Yeah, it is, but that one is ridiculous. That one is like what? What yeah. is that? So weird. You got some polka dots on there. You know, but the first order trooper does look good. Yeah, and of course the clone. And I'm kind of happy about the clone lieutenant. Or, sorry, commander. Yeah, clone commander's where it's at. I know, that yellow is just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do like the phase one ranked clones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even though yeah. they're on that old body, but I think they, visually they look pretty good. Yeah, mm -hmm. they've got great visual shelf yeah, presence to them. Yeah, I kind of cleared out a spot right there next to Yoda for the clone commander. <laughs> Just mm -hmm. because we saw them together in you know episode two, right? Um, nice. And then the goofy stormtrooper, I may put him down there somewhere. And then <laughs> phase yeah. two clone, I don't know where I'm going to put him. Don't know. And of course, first off, first order is down there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's sequel trilogy shelf. Yeah. 
far yeah. off in a distant part of the collection. In Down a low. Distant part of the display. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right. So you guys want to talk a little Bad Batch real quick before we uh, hit the old dusty trail? <laughs> Let's do it. So we're about two hours into the stream, and we are now going to start discussing the Bad Batch episodes one to three of season three. Uh, we did just get a super chat here from Wilbon. Thank you so much, Wilbon. Hey. For your support. Oh. It says, sup, fellas. The bracket was a good time. Great to see Matt on the stream. His channel is one of the best. Aww. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Thank you Kind so words. Much. Wilbon, appreciate you. So, yes. The Bad Batch Season 3 is upon us. Mm -hmm. And the first three episodes came out. And I loved them. Yep. They were awesome. <laughs> they were great. Well done. I love the the darkness of the first episode showing the boring, mundane routine of Omega. Mm -hmm. And I love the blood thing, how it sort of acts like a clock almost. You know, certain parts of the show, you'll see, chunk, you know, the next yep. uh, blood like sample. the time is running out. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, dark first episode. The music in that first episode... It was too, like the melancholic. Is that the correct word to Especially describe? Especially when they showed like an overhead shot of the lab mm. and just showing people just kind of milling about. Mm. Yeah, yeah, the music right there. Yeah, melancholy, a feeling of pensive sadness, typically with no obvious cause. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would. <laughs> I just. I really liked the the music this time around, which it was great. The Bad Batch's music never really stood out to me and not saying it's bad or anything but it just was never like oh i really like this track or like this this vibe they got going yeah is that kevin kiner that does the music i think i think that's wilbon said the kiner's cooked mm -hmm. mm. yeah mm. who is that is that someone someone of note kevin kiner he did the music for rebels mm. okay and um, nice yeah. yeah 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 it was awesome seeing crosshair again yeah. crosshair crosshair's so back he's <laughs> back on the team so yeah great. it it, it, it has a really consistent yeah. tone too uh -huh. all three episodes had a really consistent tone which for like modern movies and shows that are like part of big franchises i feel like that's always my number one turn off is what I would consider an inconsistent tone, usually in the form of comedy and joking. And mm. uh, there is mm. really none of that to be found. There's moments of lightheartedness, but it's not yeah. over the top to where it breaks, you know, the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, the first three episodes, all three were pretty like serious. I mean, they were. Yeah, it was it was nice to see. It felt good. It felt mm -hmm. good to. I was like, "Ooh, I'm actually feeling like a little bit of tension here, a little mm. bit of a little bit of stakes, like I'm not quite sure yeah. what's going to happen, but yeah. Yes, Tim. I was thinking that all three <clears throat> episodes. I was like, "We need Black Series oh, TK TKs. troopers." Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. TKs. Need the TKs. I'll take some gray striped commandos. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping that Gosh, they're so bulky now. <laughs> <laughs> possibly re-release the clone commando with the gray and maybe even a scorch re-release in the bad match line <laughs> i know that's a long shot but yeah i know it well yeah. it's just it's <laughs> it sucks even worse now because now that we have the new 2023 clone and they're bulkier mm -hmm. now their commandos look even worse in comparison you're like oh no they made it worse they look even <laughs> smaller now because now the regular clones are are beefed back up mm-hmm yeah. But I really like Dr. Hemlock and I really like his voice. Mm -hmm. It's a very cold, oh, yeah. calculated. A minor setback. Yeah, giving me some Thrawn <laughs> vibes because anytime yeah. Thrawn is defeated, he's like, it was all actually part of my plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just kidding, bro. I totally planned like, losing here. Like the mental gymnastics they, <laughs> they yeah. go through to be like, yeah, I, I meant for that yeah. to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Great but tension. Hopefully they'll do a Hemlock figure an emery car yeah. figure hopefully i like emery 
<laughs> Give, Give me back your bitcha. Bitcha. It's bitcha. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like that's your save the day. People sometimes defend the Black Series Delta Squad because the Clone Wars animation, they're a little more skinny than they were in the actual Republic Commando game. Mm. That's me. But in Bad Batch, yeah, they look I don't right. know what it is, but they look really bulky. Like They almost look like Republic Commando, the game <laughs> bul- levels of bulkiness. Mm. So when we have that little tiny skinny plain white one, it really just stands out <laughs> uh, to me. And I think I'm kind of going back to wishing that they just did a totally new sculpt because it would have been so worth it now that we have they're like so prevalent in bad mm-hmm. batch they are they're everywhere and i yeah. don't know maybe i don't know if there's a difference between the models they were using in season two versus season three but something about watching these three episodes i'm like those are some bulky boys mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah because in season two the animated look for the commando was a lot smaller mm-hmm. and the figures that came out you know kind of fit mm-hmm. uh, but you're right now they do look a little beefier Hobie says, would you guys buy Delta Squad again if they were bulky? <laughs> yes. I, I'm i a huge fan of the, I of probably would. the original game, so I, <laughs> I would absolutely do it. Especially if they gave them all the appropriate pouches and stuff that they actually had in like the game version. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, I for never sure. bought them, so I would be buying them for the first time if they did them. So. Mm. Yeah, those, Good. even though... You know they they are flawed. That was not an option for me to pass mm. on. on <laughs> Delta. Another thing that made me think of Black Series uh, during these episodes is when Wrecker was straight up using his knife as like a glow stick. And I was like, <laughs> Black Series missed that detail, and I hate it now. I hate <laughs> Wrecker's knife because mm. Hunter's knife in Black Series has that yellow detail. It Wreckers, does. it's just a regular blade, and I'm like, mm-hmm. man, that sucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It'd be cool yeah. to get crosshair with a scar and no hair in his yeah in his prison outfit. Something I loved hearing and seeing in the credits was Daniel Logan returning to Star Wars, who played young Boba in Attack mm. of the Clones, voiced one of the younger clone cadets. Oh yeah, that they find on the uh, abandoned. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember his name. I know Space. one of them's name was Mox. Mox, Stack, and Deke. Mm. There you go. Yeah, Matt's got it. See. Which yeah. one, Daniel Mox, Logan? Mox, Stack, and Deke. Okay, it was Mox. Was yeah. voiced by Daniel Logan. Cool. How's it spelled? M O X or M A C K S? It's M O X. It is M O X. Okay. I wasn't sure. That's cool. Yeah, I just it was I really cool like that. Marauder, so uh, drop in to save the day when they were yeah, battling that thing, the Slither Vines. Mm. Yeah, and the sl- the Slither Vine episode, I was getting some alien, alien Stranger vibe. Things. It's kind. Of, it was kind of like a Sarlacc pit too. It was like mm-hmm. some horror elements. I was like, they're mm-hmm. kind of creepy. I kind of like, you know, I like that episode too. Mm-hmm. Especially um, when things are just illuminated by a flashlight. It just adds that level of creepiness. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I liked all three episodes. I know some people were saying <clears throat> episode two was kind of... Yeah, that's the third thing I was thinking of, the flood. So it's like, oh, it, that's yeah. what I was thinking when I was watching is flood, Stranger Things, because of all the particles in the air, and then uh, Alien, and then, like yeah. some like face hugger type stuff with the when that they're like thing. little tiny yeah, mm-hmm. creatures yeah but that third episode was just phenomenal the emperor arriving i was like "Ooh, i love this yep so the one person in that kind of black outfit do y'all think that might be tech i or, hope not no you want him to stay dead yes I do hope tech is dead, mm. <clears throat> but I, I don't know. Yeah. There've been some, some opinions bouncing around mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. tech survived and they've modded him or something. And he's, you know, 
because they I, showed him just for a brief second, and then he got on the elevator, and then that was it. Yeah, it was just a little tease. Just briefly, who is that? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, I didn't even get the vibe that episode two was filler either. I thought it, <laughs> it had to do with the main story. It, yeah, like all three leads. episodes, it was yeah. following the straight, linear plot. Mm -hmm. And the episodes are like so short. Yeah. So it's like, doesn't even really feel like it. It's Maroc. It's Maroc. <laughs> <laughs> no. True, Kobe. I love those royal guards. Mm. They did look that cool. Was cool. Seeing that shuttle come down. With but the, the lighting in that shot was so good against that, that their red cloaks. Mm -hmm. I mean, what a shot. Mm. Yeah. And uh, how do you guys feel? which I'm fine with this, by the way, how do you guys feel about their making connections to the sequel trilogy with project Necromancer? Necromancer. As long as it makes sense, I'm down. <clears throat> yeah. I uh, saw some pretty passionate reactions to, Oh my God, they're connecting it to the sequels, but I'm just like, well, I don't like the sequels either, but they happen. So like other things yeah. in the Star Wars universe <clears throat> that are in like continuity with that, just to like make sure it all seems if, like the same universe. I'm fine and, with that. If the end goal here is to sort of Clone Wars, the sequel trilogy, like, whereas, you know, obviously Clone Wars added a ton of context and appreciation for the prequels. If they're trying to do that, I'm all for it. Cause like the rushed, Mm. poor storytelling is like the biggest problem with the sequel trilogy so them retro you know like trying to like give us little bits of explanation yeah it, i like that because i'm like okay time. maybe this will help the enjoyment of the sequel trilogy down the road <laughs> when all the pieces and everything kind of lock in and make sense and then i could be like oh okay i kind of like this now mm. that's what i'm hoping for yeah yeah exactly flesh out that somehow <laughs> yeah which flesh, yeah. like no denying that was a horrible horribly <laughs> handled return of palpatine and it made zero sense but and the the you know implying of the resurrection of the emperor is also in the mandalorian yeah so it, it's been in some different stuff as well you know trying to connect it and i don't think it's going to be like I mean, this is the last season of the Bad Batch, so I don't think the Bad Batch's mm -hmm. main objective is to, you know, make the prequel or the sequels better. I, I just think right. it's just a little. It's it's adding inkling. nuggets. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. adding little nuggets of con of context and just to make something else make a little more sense. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I'm right. down for. I'm fine. I'm, with it. I'm down for. I'm yeah. I'm okay with it. I'm mm -hmm. fine. And yeah, I like their escape from the prison. Mm -hmm. That was yep, cool. The, the action was good. I, I was really just happy with these three episodes. I was like, okay, mm -hmm. that was awesome. Some yeah. good, nice, darker Star Wars. Mm -hmm. I liked it. I liked mm -hmm. it. And I'm glad too, because season two kind of was a little bit of a snooze fest for the entire duration so i'm already like wow these three episodes are pretty much better than anything we saw in season two of bad batch so yeah they were all three very good yeah i'm, I'm happy. i was impressed with just the writing I mean, how much story they crammed into 30 minute episodes mm -hmm. is just it, it was just good well stuff. done just well done yeah. the voice acting was just on point yeah and it just that there was even some really, like really cinematography enjoyed. and like shots yeah. where it's like the overhead shots of everyone working in the lab where it's like the bird's eye view and it's like just pointed down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, we're getting a little creative here. We're getting a little mm -hmm. artistic. I'm right. liking what I'm saying. Yeah. Sid episode incoming. <laughs> right. No, <laughs> I hope not. Is that why they did episodes one, two, and three at all at once? So then we can, <laughs> The next three episodes right are, to... are Sid episodes. No. Hey, how you doing, fellas? I got I a job for you. You have to go do this thing and bring it back to me, and I'll get you paid. Uh, we don't want to do that job. We'd rather just leave, Sid. Why do we have to do it? I hope they're done with her because, you know, at the end, you know, Wrecker was like, what did you do? Yeah. I, I would hope. Up. 
I would hope so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they go back to kill to Sid. Kill Sid. There you go. <laughs> well, yeah, sure. She ratted them out at the uh, end of season yeah. two. I'm I down mean, for a cold blooded, you yeah. know, <laughs> that kind of betrayal. Bah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Goggles. Yeah. But yeah, strong start to the season. Super happy with with how it's continues. turned out so far. I hope yeah. it continues. It, it is Agreed. kind of sad that the crew is literally just Hunter and Wrecker. Yeah, yeah. I I didn't like quite realize that right until it like you know we we finally get switched back and I was like mm-hmm. oh time to see the crew, and then I was it, like no oh. I was like who's flying the ship? The Marauders <laughs> empty. I'm like oh well at least Gonky's still here. <laughs> hey, I was gonna say the return of Gonky. Yeah, yeah, and her little yeah. stuffed animal. What's its name? Numa or Luma or, or Luma or Numa? Yeah. It's still there. Yeah, it it was just crazy to see though, and it also just dawned on me that like I'm like, wow, three seasons in, and I care about these characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a yeah. sign of some some good writing. Mm-hmm. Yep. And and like oh one thing I wanted to say was like seeing crosshair now, like uh, misses shots and he, and he's like starting know, to become like, shaky. He, he's got a little Tom Hanks Saving Private Ryan mm-hmm. going I'm, on. I'm like no, like when he missed his shot, I was like, damn it, mm-hmm. not crosshair. Like, like I don't. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, Toby. I think they're all gonna. It's gonna I'm, be. It's gonna be Rogue One City. My bets, my bet is in. For Wrecker, I am 100%. This is like an official, I'm placing my bet. Lock there's going, it in. There's going to be a bomb, and they go to click it, and it's it's not going to work. Like, the detonator's not going to work, and someone has to stay behind and manually detonate it, and it's going to mm. be Wrecker. Mm. I'm calling it right now. That's just my halo reach. The team <laughs> is offed one by one, and it's like poetic, like, it's like reflective of their personality. So Wrecker is going to get some sort of death like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Something tells me it may, that may very well be a heart wrenching ending. Yeah, exactly. Cold we'll see. Heavy. We shall see. Yep. Oh yeah. I, I, I think Crosshair is going to have a heroic death for sure. Easily can see, you know, mm-hmm. him saving the rest of the crew and finally having that, Mm-hmm. That last little redeeming moment for him. Yeah, exactly. I'm not them, <laughs> Arthur. Don't don't do this. <laughs> no, he he's joking. He was know, saying that earlier about Bad Patch. Um, that would, would be there would be a, a genuine comment though of someone being like, "Come on, I haven't played Reach." Well, it, I bring this up all the time, but it's just like someone in my film class in college who was like they were like upset that someone brought up luke or vader being luke's father they're like guys come on be respectful of people who have not seen those films <laughs> bro, like, that, bro that, shut your mouth movie came out 40 years ago if you haven't seen it by now you That's weren't trying you. to see yeah, it that is on you bro goosebumps master. goosebumps mm-hmm. mm. that's such a beautiful part of halo reach Ooh, love it but uh, give me those TK Troopers. Yep. Like, yeah. I, I would say, like, after these episodes, I'm in desperate need of a Black Series TK Trooper. Absolutely. It's, it's very surprising that we don't have one. It I, is. They were in they, season one. Yeah. It's they just were in season it, one. It, yeah. it's, it's just overlays and a new helmet. I, I, don't, I don't understand what the holdup is there. Yeah. Right, like here, let's take a look. Yeah. I just I want to look at the more I see of them, the more I'm just like I love this classic Macquarie mm-hmm. design. You give us the red one with the oh, red that's, pauldron. That's nice. Like I just love them. What it so like seriously? It's just different, slightly different overlays. Mm-hmm. You could easily throw the new overlays on the 2020 Stormy. And give us a banging TK trooper. Yeah. Maybe That'd a different awesome. armor, shoulder armor. Shoulder belt, so for sure. Different, but yep. I mean, crotch. It's pretty legs, long. It is long. Yeah, I think it would definitely require some new overlays, but. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
And I just cool love the helmet. Yeah, it's such There's a cool the lieutenant. Design. Yeah, we... This we clone know. trooper thinks he outranks us. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take your blaster too. Like, ugh, just give me the figgy already. Yeah. Give me the figgy. <laughs> And it's new media. Yeah. So it should be an easy slam dunk. Now, could they do a hemlock on the Galen or so body or no? Hmm. I think that outfit's a little different. That's interesting. Yeah, because he kind of has. It's know, this. It's the so. science like it's uniform. Close. It's very close. Yeah, Does he def- have like a high collar? Does oh, okay. Galen it's, have he's a got collar? Two. Okay. Galen's. Yeah. Galen's all one piece. Okay, yeah. so it's a little different. I'd be down for that too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah. yeah. Love his voice. Mm hmm. Good, you know, secondary villain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's Nala true. say. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> right. Something yeah. tells me if they did a Kaminoan, it wouldn't stand. They are very tall. They <laughs> yeah. are very tall. tall mm-hmm. Very skinny little legs. They'd have to give it big feet. Yeah. Which I don't think I've ever seen a Kevin Owens feet. <laughs> hmm. well, I don't think they would I have mean, to rush some, out. Some wide shots of Nala Say, but I don't think I really paid attention to her feet. Right. I don't know. I don't think they'd have to rush the TK Trooper because they, they were in season one. So they've yeah. had three seasons okay, worth to get time. the design correct. Yeah. Bendy wire Ooh. neck. From... <laughs> <laughs> <There you Yes. laughs> or as Will Bond says, a true traffic cone. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Great <clears throat> point, Nexoplex. I noticed that as well. I was like, hmm. Mm. Yep. Black Series figure. Yeah. Stick it in a Bad Badge box, even though it's going right in my OT display. Mm-hmm. Perfectly fine. Yeah. Nice. See you later, cool. Sean. Good stream today, guys. Oh. Got to take the dog out to pee all over the neighborhood. <laughs> He's got to mark his territory, okay? That's there you our, go. Yeah, that's mark our it. Frenchie. He pees all over the place. Yep. <laughs> and then they kick up the yep. dirt behind him. To, yep. It's like a confidence thing, that apparently. They're yeah. like cocky. Yeah. Look what I did. Exactly. Kiwi does that <laughs> every time yeah. she goes on a walk. She kicks it up behind her like... yeah. So funny. Yeah. But yeah, great <laughs> episodes. Yep. Good yeah. Stuff. I was very impressed. I I hope all subsequent episodes are just as good. Mm-hmm. Do we know how many episodes there are? I think fifteen. Ooh. Okay. I think. I, I always like forget that. that it's kind of a high yeah. you know kick in the mouth story. Count. That was funny. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> that was funny. I mean, I also want the Night Trooper, so I'm fine with that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. We'll see. There's more coming this year. Fortunately or oh, unfortunately, yeah. depending on who you are. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's more. Speaking of that, you know, the... they're um, the Minds of Mandalore. The uh, the fact that they're taking a step backwards and and going back to the plastic cape on that release. Mm. Weird. That's dumb. Yep. That it is. That's just dumb. And I don't think that one includes the jetpack. And he had the jetpack down to the mines. So that whole release just seems kind of silly. Mm-hmm. When, and what's even crazier is that it's sold out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder if it's still sold out or did people wake up and cancel their pre order? It's like, yeah. ooh. Yeah, it's just kind of a silly figure. Totally just to like grab. There's six left. Wow. (laughs) And then it's going to be sold out again. The second round of pre-order. Yeah, this has sold out before. Yeah, Yeah, that's, it's crazy. I don't know why you would want this one over Glavis Ringworld. Like this one literally has nothing to offer. Mm Mm-mm. That Glavis no. R- Ring World doesn't do better. I think Landspeed or Luke is buying these up. <laughs> <laughs> He's buying those up. Yeah. So so, I, I feel like they, 
and they could do a soft plastic cape if they wanted to, but they could do a better one than that one. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. that one just sucks. They could do right. a better a better <laughs> soft plastic cape if they want to do a soft plastic cape. Sculpt it around the jetpack. Yeah, exactly. That great. That's a good point, Wilbon. People will buy it for mural it's completion. Complete mural. Ugh, those no. bastards. <laughs> if I find it for ten bucks, I'd buy it. Oh, it's got the knife that he can't use. Yeah. <laughs> too yeah. too small for his uh, hands. Yeah. Yeah, that's a weird one. Yeah, Mr. Coffee, he's like our Black Series stock exchange guru. He's like the oh. Wolf of Wall Street. He's always checking out like because he wants them to sell out he wants Mm -hmm. like the prequel figures to sell out so he's been taking a look at at the numbers like all right six more and then it's sold out and then hasbro will get the message that we need we want more prequel figs (laughs) look at that forehead on that promo pic i know the promo shot is crazy why don't they update that like why do they shoot themselves in the foot with that that looks about 14 I, annies left. Oh. <laughs> Inbox <laughs> weirdos. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. That's, that's for $4 flat rate shipping. Oh, yeah. I And oh, yeah. Now, now they have payment plans on Big Bad Toy Store. If you're really <laughs> living that broke boy what? life. <laughs> if you're really living that broke boy life. That is one mm-hmm. outlet that I've never shopped from is big bad i've never ordered anything really from them. i've never have yeah oh i've, oh, I've heard go-to. nothing but good things about them but i just it's like amazon's my first and then i guess entertainment earth is my second and game third <laughs> dark side, side, yeah. the dork side was my like number one for a while like when mm. i first started collecting yep. i yep. got a lot of stuff from dork side they were always well because we were kind of in the same situation where they were shipping out of Kentucky, so mm-hmm. it was great to go to you. Fast shipping to you, also fast shipping to us. Yeah. Even though big big bad is in Wisconsin, but for whatever reason, yeah. Does it take forever? It just yeah. takes forever. Yep. I, it's That's probably so the it's probably the four dollar flat rate shipping. Yeah. But it's, <laughs> it. Yeah. You know, and you'll see it. It'll like bounce all through wisconsin then it'll bounce down like halfway through illinois come back up and then bounce over right. to us where we are in indiana and you're just like what that's so weird yeah uh, with dork side i would get the shipping notification and it was literally like two days yep same for here. us they got here so fast yeah but Their like customer service was great entertainment mm-hmm. earth's shipping has just been like on a oh, whole different level like recently bucks. like really it's been crazy how mm. high their shipping's gone recently. Wow. I always order enough to where I'll get free shipping, you know, 30 or, or use some kind of promo code. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's pretty much what I yeah. do is uh, just wait for that sweet, sweet promo code, which yeah. they use. They usually have tons of promo it, codes, yeah. especially if you watch different like action figure creators, all the big yeah. dogs have, have their own mm-hmm. entertainment earth code. Type yeah. Like thing. affiliate links or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Free fall 20 or something. Yep. Yeah. Dude, Brian, I'm sorry. 200, out bucks. 200 bucks. That's crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> that's just so scummy. That's just mm. scummy. That's awful. Mm, Caleb says Big Bad's been getting faster for me in Georgia. Four to five days. In Georgia. Nice. Where are you in Georgia? What part of Georgia? Georgia. <sighs> Caleb W. Ooh, Wilbon, they flubbed your Return of the Jedi Vader pre-order. Yeah, uh-huh. that that third wave of 40th Return of the Jedi, it just, like, came and went. Hmm. It just, like, compared to the first two waves, it, it's been so hard to get. I mean, I have them, but mm-hmm. for other people, you know, that third wave has been... I still don't have that Vader, actually. Oh, really? Because I just, I don't know if I want it. Mm. But, like, I got the Luke... <laughs> that's so true yeah dhl is insane mm. except for joe p has the opposite experience right oh. here <laughs> <laughs> now i use dhl when i buy from ami ami and it dude mm. it's like eight it's like eight <laughs> days mm. something insane but yeah Caleb says he's a northwest metro area of atlanta 
Hmm. I'm northeast. Well, hey. So we're, on, we're on opposite ends. Maybe it might be time. I think the big thing for Big Bad is the pile of loot. That's like the greatest mm. thing that yeah. they do is letting... Yeah, a lot of people seem to like that. Letting stuff build up, especially for someone like me where I collect a bunch of different lines. So I let that thing build up with like all the different stuff that I collect. And yeah. it's great because then it's only $4 shipping. It's $4 to ship mm. a big-ass box of stuff to your house. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, free shipping from Vales is insane as well. <laughs> Vales free doesn't make sense. China. China. Yep. Wow. I, the last time I ordered from Vales, I got my clones in eight days. It was eight days from China to my house in Indiana. Wow. <laughs> Look at them planes <laughs> flying. Those cargo planes are just... Dude, they are just <laughs> warp speed. They're like, keep them going. Yeah. Got to get these clones out. Well, Nonstop real, from China to Indianapolis Airport, and then here, they probably just have like my shipping information pre-saved to just slap <laughs> on a new shipping label real quick. They're like, "Oh, Nate's ordering more clones." Wait, <laughs> it's already yeah. gone. We already had them bagged up for you. We knew you were going to get them. So too funny, yeah. Mister Coffee. That's insane. Forty-eight Less hours. Than Forty-eight hours. Damn. Japan, right? DHL. That'd be Japan. I know the DHL drivers friends. around here drive like fools. <laughs> What's up, Jesse? Every time I see a DHL truck, he is flying. Oh, they're hauling. It's. Yeah. I feel like oh, it's yeah, like... Shipping. To me, it always looks like it's like they have like one truck within like a huge area. Because mm. like when I'll, I'll watch the DHL guy when they're dropping something off and they're yeah. in like a city... That's like an hour away from where I live. And I'm like, they have to drive all the way here. Like that dude's got my package in a wow. city, like an hour away. I'm like that sucks. I hope they get mm -hmm. paid well. Cause that, <laughs> I, that would suck to drive a full hour. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. They got Dr. Strange shipping that shit in the portal. <laughs> yeah. DHL is yeah. a courier company. Yeah. They're just a shipping company. They're just like UPS or yeah. They're they're just more of like the, they're a smaller company. They're still nationwide, but they're a smaller mm -hmm. company. Yeah, yeah. They got yeah, Nitro yeah. Boost. Yeah, Fast and Furious. They He's have a cool. hyperdrive on them. <laughs> a class, a class one hyperdrive. Yes. It's funny. Yeah. All right. Well, <clears throat> you boys, uh, about ready to. Hit the old dusty trail here. Yeah, we're at, we're at two and a half hours. Yeah, solid, solid stream. I'm getting a little hungry. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> to you. Ooh, I'm only what's on the what's on the menu today, Nate. Yeah, my stomach clock went off. <laughs> uh, I got a nice, just like Red Baron pizza. I'll probably pop in the oven real quick. Okay. Mm. Nothing too, nothing okay. too crazy. I'm That's operating fine. off of just an uncrustable right now. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm fading. I'm fading fast. What about you? What's what's on the docket? Chipotle? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's a mystery <laughs> today. Mm. It's a mystery. Nice. Got to mm. go talk to Lucy, see what's up. Hmm. Have a Snickers. Yeah. I need a little more than a Snickers, bro. Yeah, for sure. Matt, what are you feeling? So I think our daughter is actually going to make us chicken Alfredo tonight. Ooh. She, nice. She has a really good... I think she may have made it up, but she does a really nice kind of Cajun spicy chicken Alfredo. Mm, that sounds it's very, good. Yeah, she does a nice job with it. But at about 11 o'clock, I had a couple of the frozen White Castle sliders uh -huh. and some chips and mm. some Wickles. I don't know if you guys have Wickles. You know what Wickles are? Mm -mm. Okay, They're just kind of pickles with a a kick. They're the Wicked Pickle Chips. Oh, okay. Um, you find them at Kroger. Pickles with a punch. Oh. Yeah, they're called Wickles. Very good. But yeah, that was my lunch, and it's already left me. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's time. To, you it's talk. Time to you me. talk Star Wars figgies for a couple hours, and it's like you get hungry. Oh, it just it naturally happens. We do uh, have a last minute super chat from Commander Cook. Uh, He's been doing that Cook. a lot lately. The last minute. Here's some we'll credits. Yeah. Super chat. <laughs> Appreciate you, Cook. Uh, we'll be fine. Fun fact. Commander Cook just had a video go up this past week of uh, some very simple B1 battle droid repaints. Yeah, those I looked awesome. That. They looked I, I, fantastic. I think he, 
I think you guys are like pushing me to become a little customizer. <laughs> Cause I'm like, hmm, that, that seems simple. Great. It I seems mean, simple. Maybe I try. That's the greatest mm -hmm. thing about customizing is there's a lot of stuff that seems incredibly difficult, but then it turns out that I'll, most of it's actually pretty simple. And I, I have so many extra B1s because mm -hmm. that was like the first figure oh, yeah. I went crazy army building. Like what was that? Mm -hmm. 2018 or 19. Nice. But uh, yeah, I love your new video cook. It's yeah. a good one. Yeah, yep. They look great. Yeah. So That's Matt, cool. yes. before we go, do you have any other videos coming out this week or anything? I know you mentioned the Tuscan. Yeah. Tuscan Chieftain. I will probably release on Saturday. I don't know if I will try to squeeze in because I did a, a members only poll. Mm -hmm. on my channel and Darth Vader infinity is actually one. The, uh, the trooper four pack uh, came in second place, but Infinity's Vader actually won. So I may try to squeeze this in maybe midweek. I don't know. It just depends on how, you know, how work is, how busy I am, mm -hmm. but yeah, we'll see. Uh, but definitely the chieftain. And then, like I said, the pike soldier is supposed to arrive tomorrow. So I'll of course do a video on that, uh, being mm -hmm. a new figure. Um, and then I have all these uh, to fool with. But yeah. Nice. And we do have a link to Matt's channel in the description of this stream. Mm -hmm. Love Matt Bryant's nice. channel. Definitely yes. recommend checking it out. Mm -hmm. Matt's been on the stream a few times. We love yep. having you. Yep, yep, Always yep. a fun time. Yep. I'm happy to be here. Thanks. I appreciate it. Always Absolutely. appreciate it. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, as far as we have a couple of videos this week, Tuscan Chieftain Review, for sure. <laughs> and yeah. the uh, I did a little review for the SH Figure Arts Revenge of the Sith Yoda. Cause Ooh, that... Yeah, I'm I'm really curious to see because usually import reviews go wild. Yeah, wow. that that is true. <laughs> that, I, I'm curious though, since it's like an older figure, but I feel right. like, of course, now with it being a Black Series drought, time it's going to be time to mix mm -hmm. in the the different figures like i want to review the Re the revel tech c3po uh that i got and then the mafex mm. captain phasma i want to review both of those Ooh. um they're just they're older import figures that went on sale but it's always I fun can't to believe look you're back. reviewing a non-black series <laughs> figure i can't believe it either yeah is the mafex phasma actually shiny oh yeah like reflective oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it's reflective. here hold on i'll show you real quick I'll go. It's I'll, definitely cause, impressive. Because the Black Series is very flat. Yeah, right? very dull. I don't own dull. that figure, but I've seen plenty of pictures. Yeah. And I think on y'all's latest video, didn't y'all uh, touch on Phasma? Yeah, the sequel yeah, trilogy so. wish list. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, Even the blaster is shiny. Alt hands. Yeah, she's okay. super. That's and pretty. This is, this is an old... This, is old, this came out when hmm, uh, Force right. Awakens came out. Um, oh, that's actually very cool. Yeah, I just, you know, I didn't want to pay the super high price for the figure. So Big Bad had mm. it on sale for like 40 bucks. And I was like, okay, bye. Not bad. <laughs> Wired cape too. Wired oh. cape. Nice. <laughs> yeah. But that um, amazing. Yeah, I, I, I've been eyeballing it for years. And it's mm -hmm. all the other sequel trilogy figures, you know, crashed and burned. And you can get them super cheap, even the imports. <laughs> But for yeah. whatever reason, the Mafex Phasma, uh, even the Last Jedi one, they've both just always kept their value. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So that actually came out like 2015, 2016? Yep. yep. Dang. It's, it's an old figure. And yeah, uh, wow. yeah Prophet, she is tall. The good thing oh. about Ma Mafex figures is they run a little large. Uh, they're still six inch scale, but they're on the larger side of six inch. So hmm. she's she's gonna look really nice and imposing I mean, on the shelf. Christie's. She's yeah. big. She's yeah. tall. She's big mama. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, cool. so check out the reviews nice. for for this coming week. Um, yeah, cool. Monday, Wednesday. Yep, Monday, nice Wednesday. Little two piece. Figure it out on Friday, as always. We, I didn't tell you this, Nate, but I had a little extra time at work, so I completely mapped out the next episode. Of <clears> figure it out. A little mm. early oh and it's gonna be it's a topic that usually gets a lot of traction so, i like the sound of that uh and it's i don't think we've ever done this topic on figured out before mm. 
So that'll okay. be cool. That'll definitely be a fun episode to figure it out on Friday. Oh, hmm. and then I'm curious. Uh, stream next Sunday for the Wheel of Rebo. If you're Basement Battalion four ninety nine channel members, hey, and mm-hmm. ooh, I gotta go to the PO box Discord. Someone. <laughs> Please remind me. Maybe tomorrow, <laughs> Monday. Yes. Because if you leave something in the P.O. box for too long, they'll send it back. So I really need to remember wow. to go. Because oh. uh, yeah. I think something's been sitting in there for a, a little while. So I need to remember. That's I think weird. It's cause just because y'all pay for that, right? I mean, that's y'all's box. It's yeah. Right. Send it back. That's yeah, they thing. threatened me one time. They sent an email or something. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? It's a box, bro. Yeah. I paid it. I paid we, paid, it. Yeah. we paid quite a bit of money a month for that damn P.O. box. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's wild. No, no bashing. No bad. It's hmm. it's neither good nor bad. It's just an interesting topic. Fun. But uh yeah, hmm. that'll be that'll be a fun one. Awesome. All right. Well Nice. Thanks everyone for joining us today on the stream. Yeah. We see certainly... you all next time. Yeah, we certainly appreciate each and every one of you hanging out with us. Almost 200 people here the entire time, so we certainly appreciate that. Don't forget to check out Matt's channel. Definitely subscribe to him. And uh, check out all of our content for the coming week. But until then, I'm Nate. I've been joined with Justin. See you guys later. And Matt. See you all next time. And we'll see you all next time right here on Out of the Basement. Thank you.